and frequency creating the resource that they're now has for this photo. All units go for the coasting scroll on oak south of Bramford, let's make it custody. Custody. Six eight seven nine seven S code six Highland the one one freeway via Vice says Vice says each is being notified. Let's go. In the area of Tamarack and Montague, on Tamarack between Montague and El Dorado, suspect vehicle is, possi vehicle is possibly a 1995 to 1998 Chevrolet Astra van, brown in color. Victim is a female. What's up, everyone? Sunday, April 21st, 2024. It's 11:13 p.m. Let's get this party started. Wait, there is a female his. Huh? Female what? Brown room, white pajamas. Information 7.729. Thanks, you 40, Roger. What's the temperature? Hold on, let me pull out my thermometer. It is, uh, I'm not going to tell you where I got this investigation. I'm not going to tell you where I got this thermometer from, but it is. Uh, that be 41, stand by. 58 degrees, part, 58 degrees partly cloudy. It was 81 degree high today? Investigation at. Kaiser it was cloudy all day. It did not feel like 81 degrees. Do not run. Run. Although we slept late. The area at Roscoe and DeSoto and West Valley, or Crickshire and Topanga. Everyone at B41, RD. Right now, 58 degrees. 24. It's a little cloudy, gloomy, whatever you call it. Eight, Hazy, Edward, Union, Adam, foggy. I thought it was colder than 58. Feels colder. No, four seven three five already twenty one thirty nine. It was hot today. I guess it depends where you were. Home street. Fifty one thirty two. Overcast. What's up, everyone? Julius, what's up? Rachel, how you doing? Hot as heck, Arizona. Is it really hot in Arizona? Hey, I heard that Arizona's uh, not that bad. That the average temperature, you know, I've, when I think of Arizona, I'm thinking the desert. I'm thinking 115 degrees. I'm thinking unbearable heat. I'm thinking scorpions. I'm thinking uh, Danny Trejo's head on top of a turtle blowing up. I'm thinking desert life, cactuses, red rocks. What else? And Kilmore the corner house. That's it, Arizona. I know Arizona. with a flashlight was seen in the backyard and still heard the window being smashed. Cook for zone three nine. Cold, cold, cold AC. But I heard it was a. Uh, someone told me that the in certain places in Arizona, it's like 90 degree average year round. Like it doesn't get that hot. It's like in the low 90s. Kind of like the valley. Is that Flagstaff where it's like better? 
Volkswagen Arizona, when I went, it was nice, dude. The rocks, the I went to the Grand Canyon. Took that. Station incident 4343. Took that long uh, drive up there, and it was incident 4744. Like right when you're kind of getting out of California, once you pass the, mm -hmm. I think the Salton Sea, and you're almost getting to like Blythe, whatever's over there. Like the scenery just changes, and there's all these like red rocks in the mountains. Then we stopped at a gas station. I think it was a Kingman. Kingman is down by the Grand Canyon, right? It was not there. It was like early Arizona, and there was like some biker dudes there, like in a small ass town. It's like one of the only towns, and like you could tell they were like. You're not welcome here. You know, like pump your gas and get out of here. And then I think on the way back we took. Was it the way there or the way back? There's like a road where you can take like this back road that just a straightaway. That was actually pretty dope. Like you drive in a straight line for like an hour. And it was like AC maxed out and it was doing nothing, bro. Like the outside temperature was like 108. They were just like, fuck it, dude. This is not even making a dent in the temperature. We just rolled down all the windows. Let my hair blow. I can't remember if it was Kingman. What's the, what's the town? Oh, Williams is where we stayed at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. That was a big ass mistake because we thought Williams was close enough to the Grand Canyon because we didn't have enough. So we stayed there, but we, from Williams, you still have to drive like an hour and a half up into the Grand Canyon, I think. Or like an hour to the entrance. So we were wasting like two hours a day at least going back and forth. Code two incident four five nine nine RD Williams. That was a crazy drive too, driving up to the Grand Canyon so from I'm Williams. And then there's all these fires, bro. There's these like wildfires, and you could since since it's so like flat and massive, like you can see forever, bro. Like things look close, but you probably seeing like I don't know how many miles you can see. Dude. You might be able to see a hundred miles, you know, because it's all flat. It just goes on forever and you see the smoke in the air there's like these wildfires and it's like you know i couldn't tell if that shit was like 20 miles away five miles away or 80 miles away but it seemed pretty close i'm like dude what if we get caught up right here dude the fire fire comes to this highway there's like there's no way there's only one way in each direction that's it dude there's no other fucking way to go Overdose 923 Golden Street, Code 2, Incident 4599, RD 1127. The very best place in Arizona is Greer. Never heard of it. Hey, dude, remember that, that dude that did that treasure hunt? He was like a billionaire or something. And he did some type of treasure hunt. And people were like dying and getting hurt trying to find this treasure. Did they ever find it or no? You guys remember there was like some old billionaire or someone that was really rich. And I remember some of it was like people thought it was in Arizona, New Mexico, in the south. He gave clues like he was dropping like some poems or clues and i guess his goal was to get people to go out back into nature but everyone was just going thinking they knew where he was talking about and like, supposedly there was a treasure worth like a million dollars or something and like gold and stuff and like i think a couple of people died trying to get to it and pushing a oh, someone did find it? I'm going to look that up. So someone did find it, huh? 
How much was it worth? It was just like one <laughs> one lottery ticket. The richness is in the journey, my friend. It was Rubens and diamonds and gold. How much was it worth, though? Like a million? Pacific Station with one. Well, it's good if it was gold because it's probably worth more if you held on to it. Oh, did we watch the Clippers game? Nah, no Clippers. I didn't watch it. I slept through it, but like I said, Clips and Six. No Kawhi, no problem, my boy. Easy work. Up 30. Too easy, man. Nah, they'll play better, but I think overall the Clippers are just too deep. Dallas only has two players. They only have two guys, bro. They have Kyrie and um, Luka. And they're both not good defensively, so basically they have to outscore everybody. The rest of the players on their team are... Well, I don't want to say they're garbage, but... The Clippers have a much better, uh, deeper team. Clip City, Chip City. Harden played out of his mind. Wouldn't it be ironic if the Clippers win, it, win a championship right here at the Staples Center on their way out? And they have to hang a banner on the way out? They got to leave it up there? Just the one Clipper championship banner there forever. Dude. Not gonna happen, bro. Get out of here. Oh shit, Kelly 61 Ram. That's very specific, dude. 61 Ram. You own a 61 Dodge Ram. Hey, thank you very much for that super chat. Hey, thank you, Kelly. Oh. What's this? Hold on. Someone's stealing. No further description. Someone's stealing gas from a U-Haul facility. Parked in front of the laundromat. Suspects two mail bags, number one, and blue tattoos, no further description. Enter the U-Haul property, stealing gas from the U-Haul truck. Let's go to incident 4771, RE1525. North Hollywood. Thank you, Richard. Uh, gas prices going up. You have uh, multiple, multiple calls in the stacks. Hmm? Sure. Multiple, multiple calls. I can handle. Line code 3 from Hollywood Station, new 5265 West Sunset Boulevard. Multiple calls on the gas. Are they going around filling up? Uh, Hold on. Units I can handle. We have uh, multiple, multiple calls on this package. Well, these guys? Look, that dude's got a gas tank okay. on a skateboard. He's got a gas jug. Okay. That's all for myself. Gas jug on the skateboard, dude. Gas is at a premium. 89 and 13 FD7 receiver. Um, respond to station. I wonder if they're talking about the same dudes. I mean, gas is worth a lot of money if you have a tank in your van. Imagine filling, imagine filling up a big ass tank of gas. Didn't some dudes get caught? There was some dudes going around that I think had a big ass van, and they had a big old tank in it, and they would park over. Like where you fill in the gas tanks at gas stations. I guess you could just lift it up because no one dares fucking mess with that shit. Or they knew how to unlock it and they would just have a pump in there and they were pumping them up. They were, they were parked directly over it and they had a hole in the bottom. I think they might have had like a moving van, like a U-Haul thing. And eventually they got caught. 
Clipper Championship Parade is gonna be awesome. Hey. Hey. Hey, thanks again, uh, Kelly. 61. Jamal Murray. Yeah, Jamal Murray didn't even play well, I heard, and they still killed the Lakers. Lakers are uh, Aloha from Maui. What's up? Aloha. Uh, there, T1, Cook, Lake Park, Mobile, Stop, 111. The same? Oh, yeah, the, nu the Nuggets. Park, Lake Park, uh, I don't think that's going to be a very competitive series. Warren. My friend who's a Laker fan, we were talking about it earlier, and he was like, bro, they got Rui. Anthony Davis doesn't even want to guard a Joker, bro. Like, hey, bro, that's your guy. You got to fucking do something. They're putting uh, Hachimura on him. So you're not going to stop him, but like, you think Hachimura's going to have a better chance? Like, AD is supposed to be like one of the best defensive players in the league. He can be. <laughs> you gotta go live on the Clippers parade? Oh, that's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. Bro. What happened here, dude? Something happened in the tunnel? Vehicle, Bundy, Animal Insurance, Good Chance, 4720, RD 831. That's a guarantee. And an additional racing vehicle, 12213, West Goshen Avenue, it's Good Chance, 4792, and RD 831, identified. I guess we had a call here. You get a special call to show the route. In the tunnel? 5111. Ambulance on site. And 4. Scooter. Scooter. They're going to hold the location. We're going to take the other half of the team. We're going to clear the rest of this building. And then we'll clear that one next. Did someone get run over here? I didn't hear about this. Eight minutes ago. Metro. 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 In the back alley, so it's a male white, really hair, black jacket, blue jeans. Tampering with Queen, that's at the construction site. Code 2974797 RD1583. Let's see if someone got ran over in the tunnel or what? Uh, it might have been the scooter. The scooter might have got into a small accident here. 2017, it looks like they're just taking the report. Search left turn, postal black pants, yelling and pasting in Pierre's yard, banging on the Pierre's house. Go to 1047 RD 1231. Are you going to check out some tunnel graffiti? BMW. Go to 1040 The ultimate tagging machine. Chudos. ASO or ASO? ASO, getting them pesos. M80. Boom. Meeks. Shots heard first in Myers. We are on third. Three twenty four Cook Six Vernon East of Hoover, eight boy King Lincoln, five eight four. Traveling southbound Marvin Avenue towards Apple Street. Suspect one described as a male wearing a blue mask, dark hoodie. Suspect two, unknown descriptors in the back seat of the vehicle. 
weapon used is going to be spear, and property taken is going to be a black wallet, Louis Vuitton, and a gold diamond chain. Weapon used, spear. Okay, 44 Dude, isn't fear everyone? Hi, it's Coast Coast 6, Charles, Granada, and Avenue 50, Rome Prospect. Fucking Freddy Krueger. 72, 43, 3, Lynn Street. Freddy Krueger running the streets, robbing people. Hey, Chum I'm just gonna take this street. These are the shots fired call. First, there's no further. First in Myers under the bridge. So uh, we're close. It's only one and a half miles from here. Go check this out just in case it is something. Put it in, Roger. You can show a call for it. Sometimes there's gonna be no evidence of trouble. Drive two six five one six one six four. Guys, our home is for the Shelco Field. Five two six five. We'll set the Boulevard North and Central. Urban Alchemy. Urban Alchemy. I like that name. Anyone has multiple coach calls out to the station? Be missing. Ready to start the show. Five three seven zero two one. Ready to start the show. Los Angeles, California. 465 square miles of constantly interfacing humanity. The story you are about to see is true. Hey, give me a backup of an airship. Give me a backup of an air unit and a supervisor. And somebody's in pursuit of 187 suspect. Two firing rounds at officers. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the number one state. Time, 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 Traveling south of Marvin towards Apple Street. Suspect number one is described as male wearing a blue mask, dark hoodie number two, no further. He was in the backseat of the vehicle. What we use is fear property tape was a full of a ton, black wallet, gold diamond chain necklace. Information is in 4712. Street, Central Avenue, Code 2, Incident 4769, RD 1824. Oh, shit. This is the. Is this the first, this is the first bridge, street bridge, what side of the bridge? I am on all frequency stand by 341 is in pursuit of a oh. DUI driver northbound from on from exposition. Ooh, that's pursuit too? Jim Pogger for watch 7, mainland Elm Alright, we're gonna go over this Roger, bridge. We just went under, it's on the opposite Thomas. side. Speed and road station. Vermont. Vehicle is going to be a red Chrysler, license plate is going to be 9 Lincoln, Frank George 685, approaching Adams. Three seventy three is approaching 27th, a red Chrysler, license plate 9 Lincoln, Frank George 685, 9 Lincoln, Frank George 685, approaching Adams. 373, speed and condition. Adam 73, we're going to be going eastbound. Adam approaching over. Uh, we advise we lost someone. Adam, you. They say they lost him? Adam. Alright. Nothing on female black, pink jacket. Go to me, 3 Already 2002. We lost the vehicle at Adams and Hoover. 
They lost them. Yeah, Century and possible battery just occurred for 02 West 3rd Street. Kitchen is in 482 Damn, they've been losing a lot of them. Lately. LA Supervisor 80 13 122 13 Goshen. All frequency square. Well, here, comes the, here comes the police. 80 13 8040. We beat the cops here. Shots fired. They could be anywhere. This is right here under the bridge. The cops are just getting here. I don't see nothing really. Three USC 122 is there, sir. Correction. Code 6, 1300 West 35th Street. Andrew's place. There could have been fireworks. Or... 827. 21, Roger. BMW, Michael, please X-ray Tom Lincoln, 388. Ten shots west of Coenda, 8 William X-ray Lincoln, 380. Those them boys. At 1300 West 35th Place is the air care for Coenda for a crime broadcast. PSC 122, standby. The PR is attempting to flag you down there at council and Anybody's worried about no shots around here? It probably, I don't know, it might have been some. I've never been here for someone shooting, but this does seem like a place where someone would go in the, maybe go in the river and shoot their guns. Yes. We lost the vehicle at Adams and Hoover. Oh, this is a, if you, you see where those uh, lights are right there, all those red lights? That's where the po police helicopters are. Actually, to the right, the white lights, to the right, that building. That's where the police uh, helicopters hang out. That's where they take off from, from downtown. Rogers, stand by, stop the downtown, this used to be a spot where people used to come hang out. Oh, the cops are out here. I don't think any shots are fired here. Roger. People are too calm for cops fire, but these dudes are worried about getting you. 1920, 1920, cancel all your non coded calls. Smoking weed. These kids ain't gonna hang around. Cops already know. Yeah, so six, Roger. Twenty seventy one. Be advised that the call here at San Anderson Council might be related to the. Uh, the cops know it. AXN News is just a fly on the wall, dude. We're just little flies on the wall. Signal code two seven four eight four five. Already twenty one forty seven. Unit four fifteen woman six two zero West eighty fourth Street. Suspecting all black, gray jacket, gray sweatshirt, blue jeans with a backpack. FPR's door with hitting it with a car seat. Go to incident 4847, RD 1267. Robertson Myers, no, that's all shooting. Renata, towards 50. Sorry, copy, thank you. Dr. Willoughby Avenue, apartment 8, suspect. Male and white, 34 years, 180, blue and white, check a shirt, go to the 4840, Hardy, 66, Mount Pelt, traditional, and long to Pemberton. 
Trespass suspect 6151 Radford Avenue, incident 4807, RD 1525. Right, we're going to get up out of here. But, so, uh, like during COVID oh, times, people used to, used to be able to hang out and drive your car on the all the way up to like where the tagging is on that little wall. So this was just one big parking lot where hundreds, yeah, hundreds of cars used to come here and hang out. And like this whole land right here, this is where the train tracks are right there behind there is the uh, the river, LA River. Like if you just go over that little, little wall, you go down into the river. I went down there one time. Uh, on stream, that was early double A days. And people used to hang out, but then they put up these uh, barricades so people don't go there no more. But so many people hang out, so much drinking, so much drinking that the whole, the whole thing. Oh, we got a super chat. Sorry, patrol one ever thought of riding with a canine doggy? Sure. Can I borrow one? Like it's all full of glass down there. But where it was. And the trains still roll by here, right here. Those are like some tankers. Uh, I know I think that's all. 63 Roger. Have any additional pair of call arrives that the suspect and victim entered a gray sedan and was last seen on Norton toward West here approximately 30 seconds ago. And here's another 4848. Anyways, I don't think there's any shots fired. There's probably fireworks or who knows, it might have been someone shooting a gun somewhere. If they shot it down in the river under one of the tunnels, it would probably echo loud as fuck somewhere. They could be anywhere here, bro. 6FBL 32, 6FBL 32, have you arrived? 30 for five two. 5 on tail. Ginger, what's the bigger off? Westlaw units, information on any trespass, let's clear up 916, South Central, Middle Street, South Central, Black, 30 years, wearing a white, Jesus shirt, brown shorts, black shoes, Answer the building to the key for the tents and pole and doors. So, if I location no longer seen information, I said at 4858 and 3249. Door 30 to CP is William 20 with you. Station code 2 and 4861 are in So, they lost the pursuit suspect. And paperwork and then the one on C19. So, see if there's any further. All right, let's get back to the other side of downtown. 919 Van Owen Street, apartment 3A, incident 4855, RD 914. You know about the panic zone in the Belmont tunnels? Uh, I've heard about them growing up, but I never... I actually never went. Was Belmont Tunnels the ones over by that school? Continuing in the middle of the apartment complex. And the panic zone is like over here? Isn't that where they film like the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Red Hot Chili Peppers in him? In the middle of the apartment complex, suspect number one. All the way from the bottom lower level. We got something here. Continuing in the middle of the apartment complex, suspect number one, male unknown, gray shirt, armed with a bat, suspect number two to four, male, for the description, code three, incident 486481112. 400 South Norton, they were outside of that complex on the street. A suspect vehicle was last seen eastbound 4th 
just now. The black sedan with one tail light out. I know about the motor yards. Of males and one female. And that allowed altercation, possibly assaulting that female, possibly put her We used to go to the motor vehicle. yards. Then say 4848. Trespass suspect 32 Tower Riverside Drive. See security will direct to the perfect in the white for years. Very good at switch your blue jeans. Go to incident 4869, already 1132. My friend was, um, he wasn't like his straight, I think he was second cousins with, second cousins with that dude, Retina. If you know graffiti, you know Retina. I forgot. I can't remember one time we went to the motor yards with him or we went to, uh, we went to some yards. And you're 2833, this line code 3 from Western, and we go look for 24, Fortune 426, South North Navy. You're taking Roger. Then Catalina, suspect is a male Hispanic 59160, dark hooded sweatshirt, weapon use bodily force, property taken, backpack, and miscellaneous. Personal property last seen on foot in unknown direction. It's now for you for nine. We have one call saying black and another call saying white shoulder. Additionally, your call for 22,000. The is not a good it, it, One, it's closed. That's something you'd have to go in the, in the daytime. Otani making a bet. What do you guys believe about Otani's situation, bro? You think that... Uh, uh, do you think that's, uh, that Otani was making the bets? Or his interpreter waged. Uh, they're saying he put through forty million dollars worth of bets. Uh, interpreter is getting paid a decent amount of money, huh? Yeah, my my friend, uh, he had a bunch of paintings back when like Retina was just a, before Retina was Retina, I guess, when he first started writing Retina. He, he used the tag of Moses back in the days, I think. And then he changed it to Retina, and they he started doing like bus bus benches, the ads on the bus benches. I think there was a company called BB. Remember that fashion company with those? They'd always have like some pretty models, and they would go and they had they had the key to the bus benches, and they would pull out the poster. In the bus bench, and then they would paint like a design, you know, the stuff that Ret Retina does. Like change the background or change the hair with like script. Like the stuff that he would do with was Retina and uh, what's that dude? Elmac. Before, I think he used to hang out with Elmac. And my friend had a couple of his paintings, brother. He had them like before he was. Before like that street art shit like blew up. Seven twenty two. But one day he like fucking went he went crazy and he threw it away. And, um, that's my friend that passed away, bro. He passed away like a year and a half ago. And I even went, I went to his mom and I asked him like, dude, did he, does he still have did he keep any of those paintings and stuff? And he was she's like, nah, one time he was like on a I don't know. He was on a bender and he just threw everything away. Possible battery suspect right now, Pasadena Corona, code 2, incident 4806, RD 1169. Hey, Debbie Cheatham, thank you for that super, super chat. Trinity, I'm just regarding. 
Uh, uh, sounds like Otani is innocent gambling but guilty of being rich. Uh, you think? Oh, yeah, yeah Retina's paintings are worth a shitload of money. I don't know if he's still getting that kind of money, but it's. Remember when street art blew up? That Banksy blew up, like. They had that one like art show where the Banksy, if you watch Exit Through the Gift Shop, where they had this big ass like art show in downtown and Banksy brought an elephant and like it legitimized street art and graffiti art and like all these celebrities came and celebrities are paying like a million dollars for fucking Banksy yeah, and like all these other, so everyone wanted graffiti and that's, that's how like it blew the fuck up. Before graffiti was... Had, it was a thing looked down Google upon, you know? That's why people only painted in the yards, bro. Like you, it was pretty rare to find, like, a store owner or someone to give you a place to, like, here, paint. Yeah, sure, paint the side of my business or whatever. After that show, like, it blew up. Graffiti and uh, street art. Because a lot of art collectors started investing. You know, they want to invest in the next Banksy. So, and it's just like the art shit is just like it's kind of like Hollywood, bro. Like there are certain players that you have to be attached to, and they they're the ones that have the connections with all the people that pay money for art, and then they pretty much could make you or break you. If they're telling all their buyers, like, hey, you have to invest in this guy. This is the next guy. And then it was kind of just a lot of hype, bro, to be honest. Well, art appreciates a lot. It keeps its value. and Some of this shit is like the investment value is way better. Better than anything, bro. Better than gold, anything. Gold, stocks. So that's why all these rich people like to invest in art. And it's also like one of... It's like a one of one, you know? Anyways, hey, Debbie, thanks again for that super chat. Male, mixed race, black hat, black sweater, black short. Incident 4781. 7869, 7869, you code 10, code 10, 40, equipped. Take care, right? Any Vulture supervisor to respond with 7869, 1920 on a half 6th Avenue for an address and call identify. Persons, alright, let me focus. Any Vulture supervisor to respond with 7869 on a half 6th Avenue for an address open call identify. 120 on a half 6th Avenue. Turn on phone. Turn on phone, Roger. Uh, that's on the west side. That's too far. Expanded collision. Where's this? What's. 863. Did you meet some further? Expanded collision on. Central Valley Valley. Three to C one twenty two. Repeat your message. Zelza Avenue. Never heard of that. Two eight seventeen. Two eight seventeen. Do you want to cancel two eight five from that call? Oh, okay. No wonder. This is like by almost Santa Clarita. Way out Three, in the valley.
they still each art in school? I don't know. I know the arts are way less. Obviously, they need more of it. Arts, music. I think what fucked up some of the schools too is that the, a lot of the community colleges stopped having like a, I don't know if it's called vocational training or like, they used to have like a, auto automotive works in community colleges, they used to have a lot of nursing programs in community colleges, a lot of trade stuff and they, I don't know if it was like in the early 2000s or something, they they took all that away. Santa Monica College used to have like a nursing program. They used to have an auto body center. And the mechanics. They took all that shit away. So that's why I think all those private like colleges popped up. Those are pretty expensive. But the only thing they have now is a LA Trade Tech, you know? I mean, there's a huge fucking nursing shortage. Look, if you want to get a good job, you're going to school, dude. Medical field is where it's at. Secure job. Yeah, they do. They just have the purpose of having directly in front of the target location. But aside from that, I'm not dealing with your coffers. We're good. Any southeast unit, sound adult, 107th McKinley, code 2, incident 4893, RD1834. Music. Yeah, all that stuff needs to come back, dude. They need more music, more arts, but also a lot more vocational stuff, dude. So it can be uh, cheap to, you know, get these good jobs, their vocational jobs. Yeah, Heading mission unit 415 group 14841 Broadmarsh Street FM 4673 RD 1975. I don't know if maybe the schools want it. They wanted to like steer people more into like technology jobs, maybe? Or 15 man 8800 Burnett Avenue instead one. And focus on that. I mean, not every, not everyone's, you know, good at that or wants to do that. Any Wilshire Street, Constable 44, suspect 84, 80, West Third Street, at the Phoenix Bar, suspect uh, male white, 30 years, brown hair, 5'7", blue polo shirt, shorts, white shoes, go to incident 4909, and already 722. Another 21 minute time, that's People are getting, oh yeah, also the health of Americans is, people are getting, people are definitely getting older in the health, just look around, bro, like, actually just look around at the health of the average person. All of us age, bro, like, I think it's going to be like an overload on the healthcare system. Probably like in 20, 20, 25 years. Yeah, trades are good now because uh, uh, AI, AI really can't take that stuff away, you know? I think a lot of white collar jobs are people are going to have a harsh, uh, har a harsh reality, harsh reality check. You know? Oh. 
Roger. Vehicle in a ditch, huh? That's not your location. That was that. I think that's that crash in the valley. Let me see if I could hear what's going on over there. Brother. There's a man, woman, deceased on 142 Wilson Drive. It may be related to your call on Norton. I'll show you hand me. Did that come out after or before the Wilson call? Let's see where this is. Roll over in a ditch. I'm assuming it's this one. Is engine 18 there? Zelza? Thanks for me, Coach J. Switch on time. Switch on time. Mm. Also, okay, that's what's my car and all it's not hard that on smell. Not seeing any on the hard. They cleared the ambulances, so. Wearing a front hoodie, carrying a female, female screaming in distress. Time for further questions. I don't think it's going to be anything. It's really far, but. Are you in at number 5 already, 20 or 40? It looked like it probably went down a hill somewhere. No, no injuries, it's like 25 minutes away. Hey, Tricky Ricky, dude. High schools used to have ROP classes. Incident 4854 RD509. Did they take those away? Yeah, I remember that from high school, dude. ROP. Fort Quinn, like two, repeat your cross the hall down. 7 6. 24 Quinn Lincoln, 2 Quinn Lincoln, 1 Queen 50. A lot of uh, high schools offer trade classes in Alabama. That's good. I don't know, in California, I know that all that stuff went away. Or the budget was cut heavily for all the wood shop. Anything like that, dude. The trades. I don't know why. I mean, oh my God. You're skittish. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, man. Right? I'm so sorry. What's up? Is what this for me? It says iPhone unavailable. No, nah, no, nah, this ain't your Uber. Okay, I'll so, wait. Alright. <laughs> Yo, this bitch just opened my fucking door, man. Big, eight, Adam Lincoln, Robert, two, five, two. She almost That's got decapitated. Is a a Luckily, she was a pretty blonde, or else she would have got decapitated. Don't call zero five nine two three. Don't call zero five nine two three. Pulling a white trailer that she eastbound, Christian westbound four from Clarence. Go to ten thirteen ninety four seventy one. City Rafael Avenue, Jamaica, Suspect 1064 North Normandy Avenue. Please appear in front of female Hispanic, cream color, sweater, white shorts. Suspect is a male Hispanic, 23 years, white t-shirt, black pants, 390. Code 2 incident 16 or the 201. Great. Take a free birthday for a possible kidnap suspect, heart not on file. Yeah, I should have locked my doors. I've, I've, it's been a while since someone tried to open my door, but I don't know why it was unlocked. I think because I put it in park, it automatically unlocked the doors. When you put it in drive, the doors okay, automatically Bobby lock. I think as I put it in park. Norton, Norton and Fourth is going to be a silver Chrysler. Yeah, that's what it is. You put it in park, it opens light. the door locks. License plate A George Ocean, Nor 936. The suspect is described as a male, black, six feet, white shirt, black pants. The victim is going to be a female, black, wearing a pink bathing suit. Okay, so what is described this? as a male black bo left occurred about 10 minutes ago from north norton and fourth it's gonna be a silver chrysler four-door with bo left tail light license plate a george ocean 
nor 936. The suspect is described as a male, black, six feet, white shirt, black pants. The victim is gonna be a female, black, wearing a pink bathing suit. No further. Flight delay from Southwest Station to Vermont and 39. Messing with someone in a bathing suit right now? Who must have been by this pool? 257, Kessler response 315. Either she just got out of the pool or she's working a Western or something. 355, medical alert notified. Door 30 units on AB 15. Just hold. Uh, we might have an outstanding suspect uh, nearby. Code 6, code 6, code 1, 4, South Concord. 8, 7, Roger. You guys know it's if you go. Secondary location, 516 Avenue 50. Uh, possible second suspect. Uh, we have resources in right now. We have to team in requirement. Do you guys know if they actually caught the guy that tried to set that, uh, Let's truck on fire right now. Route to Good Sam Hospital, Good Samaritan Hospital, RA 13. Hmm? Question 14237 Korean Street, you said 4842 or the 1967. 1415 Roman 14915 Roscoe Boulevard, you 4903 or the 1984. Any mission you need to handle? I'll have to fight. License plate 8, George, Ocean, Nora, 936, 8, George, So far, Ocean, pretty Nora, slow tonight. Suspect is a male, black, 6 feet, wearing a white shirt, black pants. Victim was a female, black, pink bathing suit. Incident 4848. Yeah, he got arrested right there and then? Oh, you, you watched it? Shots fired, 23 Lancaster Avenue. The texter is He dead. did? Because I thought I seen a video where they said that, like, they were looking lights going off and on they were looking for the guy because he had a mask on and he had like one of those uh, n95 masks and a hat on or something but I'm sure someone that would know him would be able to recognize him by his build and his eyes and also like he said he lived in the area Hold on the other one. Uh, 497, 497, landline watch commander. Section 415, 415, landline watch commander. South Concord. What happened there? 415, disregard 497, 4897, landline watch commander. Four traffic units, ambulance traffic, overturned vehicles, Silver Lake and Virgil, Silver Lake and Virgil to solo vehicles. DC, good to answer, 2019. Silver Lake and Virgil? Should we go there? Yeah, we go 45 Washington. Okay. See you, Roger. Silver Lake and Virgil. 87 on Main Street. Suspect is a female transgender, 33 years on foot. Let's go to incident 32 and RD 1515. It still hasn't come out under. Uh, Hi, it's 27 T35. Under the fire department. Code 3 from West Traffic to Silver Lake and Virgil. Silver Lake and Virgil. 63 6A 63. Are you clear? This real quick. Tower 15, code 6, 4606, South Normandy. C31, switch to transit frequency. 
Elmo on a beige board SUV no plates. It seems like it's not going to be nothing too big. It's a single One car rollover. Uh, downtown is dead, so let's head over there. It's five miles. One of the North Hollywood station called Six Roger. Oh.
Co2 incident 4902 and RD-164. CTD is holding a Co2 call to CAD traffic 416 South Clarence. Co2 incident 13, RD-471. 3X097 requesting RA2 Bravo 8 station at the front desk. For a male, approximately 37 years of age, conscious breathing, suffering from symptoms. Confirm my I'm in the heaven cab. Oh, well, this is it right here. Yo. The cops called it in and just kept going or what? This ain't a rollover. It's a spin out. There might be two zero one in the station red line platform. Friendly. It's a spin out. Oh, there's a car over here. I'm going to get to the I think these are the drivers right here to the left. 131 FB41 near Stata. Oh, no, that's not the cop car. The cops just called it in? Oh, damn, don't tell me that dude could possibly be in there. Dude, I thought that was a cop car laying out in the cut. They're just getting here, dude. Don't tell me the dude could possibly be in there. Channel 5, RG 1924. Watch out for these dudes over here. Individual looking for a bed tonight. Shit. Oh, fucking know where to park. Male or female? Female. The parking lot across from the location advises that the suspect smells of alcohol is now a CPI traffic DUI while well, still put to additional incident 13. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in there. He's lucky he didn't fucking run into it. Look at all these people that live in these tents right here. What's up, what's up, what are you putting? 20 feet up. 20 feet up, he would have probably killed somebody. I just wanted to They're sleeping in their tents. 331 Rocker. Code 2 incident number 6200 and 15035. Looks like the driver took off. 2 incident 49RE2017. 4855. Male Asian, you say? 37 NSF LA 23, Tall Way 73 here. DK just occurred at 2050 West Manchester. Not ambulance shooting. Truck all back. The districts shut up. PR, West Murray, West Bell, Refuse Town, Sarah, New Additional. Not good. 37 3, 5, 30, 12, 23. Shooting on Manchester. Roger, responding from Western Manchester. 2050. 2050 West Manchester. In the middle of the street, female, over a description. In the. Code 3, in the 61 RD 532, Harbor Unit, the handle, identify. It's going to be too far. 18 minutes. The red is rain, caught in error. Possibly from business, not common, it's good. Christian 767. He probably walked up these stairs just up to the bridge up there. Yeah, he's oh, you see all these people in these tents? T5, your status. From there to the white car is with. Uh, 10, 20, they're about 30, I was going to say 40 to 50 feet. Prius. Uh, yeah. Or you could have crashed over here. 3 Coming in southeast, CNN, Colts holding criminal fire investigation, incident 478 ENRD 1806. Just left side 4867 RD 1831, 507 radio incident 4 RD 1837. 
message. I don't think he's in one of these tents, dude. I don't think the. What are the odds of a Prius owner living in one of these tents? There's definitely nobody in there. Adams at 0, 300 hours. Yeah, there's just a good Samaritan over here. We probably just spun out here and walked away for obvious reasons. I'm gonna go up on top of the bridge and see if we find it. What is this ambulance story? Is it just late to the party or what? 2729 David Henry Frank, 152. Yeah, if you wish to oh, I didn't see the, the guy there. 331, the call coming in from BLC, from bus operation control, not the actual Frank 152. There's no one or warrant on a 2012 Honda Coupe to Mariano Crispy, 334 North, North Occidental. Why is there West Mansions already know that you're shooting? I need to get a call 30 at a business 5383 South Main and 75. 25, you have the size of the window or the door. Over Let's see if for some reason they found him here somewhere. We're kind of a, in a hard place to park here. Roger. Ambulance just kept going, right? Roger. 341 at the request is still out. Three, three, Roger. 1337, 1337, are you clear? The ambulance just kept going. There's some stairs. Where are the stairs? To the I think he's missing, dude. Left on foot. Someone ID'd him as an Asian male. Maybe those dudes that were up there by the tents. All units. Watch him be one. Watch him be one of these dudes. Code four, one nine two zero, and a half six Avenue, suspect Jewish. Avenue, suspect is a possible transient female Hispanic, thirties wearing dark oh, no, clothing, a, sitting inside a blue Honda Civic that is parked. That was a cop way. talking to, I guess, two witnesses probably. He walked up the stairs and I think he pointed this way, like he came last seen walking in this direction. 25 T33, 25 T33, heavy arrest. Depot Hill units, 
Go to other 11671 Golado Street. Code 2 incident 0068 RD 16 06. Those dudes didn't look like Asian males. The cop was Asian, though. 6 8 77 stand by. 79 3 Frank 79 is your right. Look at that public storage building. 835 Roger. Dude, storage was a big deal back in the days, huh? You know how many big ass public storage buildings like that we have? They're some of the nicest buildings in LA, dude. Some of the oldest, nicest buildings. I'm surprised they don't convert those to uh, apartments. Imagine they converted those to like lofts or. They could just make each story like just penthouse, you know, like everyone owns a story. And they would sell out. Or they could split the building in I half, you know, each floor, two the... units per floor. It's a, it's a beautiful building. They probably wait. They probably make a lot of money still. Storage is expensive as shit. I'm in T35, Silver Lincoln, Virgil. I think they make. They make way more money per square footage in storage. Roger. There's that other one in in Hollywood, yeah, West Hollywood. A lot of them, dude. If you see a lot of like, and for some reason they're always like stand up. Standalone buildings. They're usually not in between like a bunch of other buildings. Yeah, my friend told me he was uh, he was paying like eight hundred dollars a month for a storage unit. A pretty decent sized one, but he wanted me to go uh, halves on him on this one like storefront. Where the dude wanted a, you can get it for like thirteen hundred bucks a month. Uh, I didn't like like the parking situation. The area is not that good. And I don't know about splitting it with someone. If it was a bigger place, maybe, but it's not. He said it was like four times as big as this storage, so that's why he wanted to just split it. And your other code six was four five four one. Roger, four five four one. King 182, one King 182, cancel your response to one two six zero zero product drive. Subject does not meet criteria. Sell the stuff and save eight hundred. I mean, that's true. That is true, man. At a certain point, the things you own, own you. Yeah, I never understood, like, the storage stuff. Unless it's something that's, like, it's for a business. It's really valuable. I know, like, a lot of um, people in construction, uh, landscaping, they'll have, like, they'll get storage places. So they can store their, their tools if they live like in apartments. That makes sense because you're like running a business, you know. Like sometimes a bunch of gardeners will pitch in and get one place so they can store all their tools where it's some, somewhat safe. Overnight, they pick them up in the morning. Um, this arcade, this arcade is still here. It's right here, look. Family arcade. It's open. Damn, look at this shit. Look at all this shit on this car. <laughs> Yo. 
182, cancel your response to 12600 drive. The subject does not meet criteria. Bro, this, I gotta go whip around to see this uh -huh. again. That was like a mountain on top of a minivan, dude. That pile of trash was like bigger than the minivan itself. Carlos Union, 49, William, 49. I think that's the biggest one I've ever seen, dude. Every once in a while, I'll see a car that has a bunch of stuff just tied to the top. Bro, that's like hoarding. Next level hoarding right there. Manager can have a supervisor with the keys to response to the location, and we'll call back with that information. Orders. Any Southeast unit, battery to Mexico Island, 87th Street and Broadway, PR in a green dress, in a Chevy Malibu across the street from the Swami, suspect, ex boyfriend, male black, tall bill, Tom and Jerry jacket, white shirt, black pads. Go to the arcades on Vermont, yes. Across from the college, LACC. Carlos Union, Union 1802. I think that you can't, you have to buy like a pass now. They don't pay like per game. I think you buy like a $20 nice. wristband or something. Look at this, dude. This is bigger than the minivan. I guess it kind of hangs up over the side. Traffic information only on traffic collision at the area of Beaumont and Devonshire. Information sent line three. Traffic information only on traffic collision at the area of Beaumont and Devonshire. Information sent line three. Traffic information only on traffic collision at the area of Beaumont and Devonshire. Dude, what do you think's in there? I see like a wire basket. A three nine incident four seven six five. A step stool. Definitely need a step stool to get up there. A folded wooden chair, a bunch of plastic bags filled with who knows what. It appears from the four five and a half call at 227 South Reno Street, apartment 6 is calling back. He needs P to be responsible to the location. Suspect is his son, but he has he does not live there. And he has re-entered the residence and is now locked inside the restaurant. Damn, that's yeah, right. crazy. It's it's crazy. It's like an illness, bro. Like a hoarding illness, mental illness. That's fucking insane. I bet you all that stuff is. Just... I bet you it's mostly trash, man. Poor is this a lady? Poor lady, man. it's a definitely a fence they could pull you over for if you're just parked on the street they're probably not going to say anything because there's even worse stuff parked on the street but if you're driving i don't know on a white mercedes license six young sam boy you would think it was but i don't know can she see off their side mirrors i doubt it Visibility has got to be pretty slim with bags hanging yeah, over to the side. Because you could block like your rear window, but you can't block your side and rear view. Your side mirror. Back, additional activation the location covering that siren bell damage. Additional incident 66. Six. Additional incident 66. You see one of those cars every every once in a while you'll see them. But I think that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Any Hollywood supervisor me six eight fifteen. Going north of Hollywood. 
And that one seems like it's mostly trash. Usually some people will have something up there that's like a value or something, bro. Like a picnic table or something. Did you guys see that one uh, house? I think it was. It wasn't in Beverly Hills, but it was. Maybe maybe around West Hollywood, Crescent Heights area, maybe. There was a hoarder house, and people have been complaining forever, bro. And like, been going to the city. It was like that. It was just like that, but an entire property in this like pretty upper end neighborhood. And they've been complaining, complaining. <laughs> And nothing happened until until finally uh, the, I think it was like Fox 11 went out there and did a report on it and as soon as it was on the news it got cleaned up like that and the mayor went the adult, went on a whole little press tour about cleaning it up and like So the media has a lot of power, bro, but like... Choosy. Because an email for the name of our description about our copy judicial code to incident 0134 and 0646. We are recording at Cadillac. We are walking to Cadillac towards Los Angeles. Tell us that it's my shirt, my clip pants. This vehicle for our great deal. The camera license 1924 George. 724 1924 George 734. Location is close. Incident 114. Also, I think the cops might be scared to pull someone like that over. Because I, re I remember hearing this back in the days that the cops wouldn't pull over like workmen in their trucks, like handyman, plumbers at night. Unless they were like absolutely drunk, because then they would have to inventory like everything on the truck. So if they pull this lady over and like whatever, they gotta take her in, take her car in, like they gotta inventory every fucking thing there. Roger, garbage bag Tell one, you. black garbage bag one through 38. <laughs> garbage bag one contained Roger. discarded newspapers, Yoshinoya food containers, moldy rice. <laughs> Three Justin Bieber jewel cases. Even if it's trash, I don't know, I think so. Well, that's what some dude used to tell me. He like, said his friend was a cop, and he's like, that's why they like. They would even give those dudes like warnings. If they were by the house, they'd be like, bro, just either park there here, have someone pick you up, or get to the, we'll follow you to your house and just don't fucking leave. Zero, five, six, seven, 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 se
if my window was so clean earlier and now it's all dirty. I think there's just a traffic stop. Rolling down the river. Hey, I'm at 86 and A11, requesting backup air unit supervisor following code 37, northbound San Fernando from Paxton. San Fernando from Paxton? He's probably just blocking the street because there's like a. There's like an events place right there. I think they're having like a party. There's like a. What do they call it? A banquet hall place? Well, it actually looks pretty dope. They just double park probably blocking the street. Let's see. They got a following a stolen car out of the North Hollywood. We'll see if this turns into a chase. Noise, disturbance, San Fernando Road in Paxton. How deep is that into the valley? North Hollywood. Not that far. Oh, San Fernando know. Road in Paxton. Oh, never mind. 18 minutes. I thought it was like From San Fernando passing Belter. I thought it was North Hollywood, dude. This is like Bacoima. Six Queen Twenty One, Code Six Clinton and Western. We'll see. We'll get close to the one oh one. If he comes if he's coming in this direction it'll be Three, already twelve fifty five. It probably only take like ten minutes to get there. North Mount Truman from San Fernando. Again, the elevator is going to code two and ten four five six eight. Today, you're 57 semi. Wolf's kill. Roger. Wolf's kill. L97 has the incident. Are you responding with them or taking it from them? You're responding with them. 357, Roger. A pretty quiet night tonight. It was Sunday. I almost didn't come out. But... Like, uh... 11, we're continuing northbound Truman, approaching McClay. When did I come out last time? Friday? Friday, I gotta do at least two weekends. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two days out of those. 5 East 5th Street, let's see. Yeah. What is the age of these subjects? Now 3824 South Boulevard, code 2 incident 112 ID 376. Yeah. 3921, Roger. Possible 459, suspect. They're now 163 Schrader Boulevard, code 2 incident 0134, RD 646. Let's see if there's any nice cars over here. 14812-14812, have you arrived? Maybe Luca? Does Luca travel with this six by six? Okay, Roger. This would probably be the club where he's at, he would be at. 36 place in Moose Hill Incident 4832 RD355. I guess there's no club here on a Sunday night. Watch live TV like Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Buckets. Hey, did Jimmy Butler play today? Hollywood female officer meet 6A66 Kawanga north of Hollywood. 37. Enter. A6, correction, 6A77. Are we happy the Clippers won? 16 No, they were attempting a traffic stop. Within Which reason. North of San Fernando Mission. 16 a Are you good, 6 now? Within reason. We're expecting a championship, though. So. Fifth, 15 more wins to go. 
Police officer in racing vehicles, lane at 120th Street, approximately 20 vehicles at location blocking the intersection at scene of a street takeover. Captain said 1862. Yeah, his knee looked bad. Like, you know, the San Fernando mission? I think he had an MCL injury. I thought he was going to play though. Like, if it's serious, I don't think you can't. You literally can't push off. Thirteen. Oh, Hollywood Presbyterian. The PR reports verbal argument between his father and father's girlfriend. From Pleasure Last Name Board, 19, 2024, at 1800 hours. They always got people going crazy there at the hospital. Remember last time I was with my friend, who was he was doing like an internship there. And we were out here one night and he was like he didn't use the bathroom and we were like he's like bro we can just go I was like just go here he's like no we can just go to the hospital he's like I got my ID I know everyone there we don't have to uh, piss on a tree like an animal I was like alright cause we were right down the street and we went like we walk in and there was some lady and she first thing she said she looked at my friend and she was like he's got a gun he's got a gun that guy right there <laughs> She was flipping out. I don't know what she was on, dude. She was like, that guy right there has a gun. And I was like, yeah. I'm not dealing with this shit. I just went straight to the bathroom. But they always have a, the hospitals. We don't really have mental hospitals. Yet. Mental problems go to regular hospitals. One zero six RD six twenty six. I will send radio six six four three to Long Free Ave. The new incident zero one one seven RD six forty six. I will send party one two zero one five three incident zero one five one RD six sixty six. Southbound seven three five one West eighty third Street incident one three nine RD fourteen seventy three. The phone got there. I don't know if it's the window or the. Actually, someone said it was looking super clear. I think I might have touched the lens and it pulled yeah. the camera. Let me clean it again. We'll clean it right next to the Trump star. William, one zero. Dude, this star right here got. I'm gonna show you your outfit. That incident, main and one twentieth. It used to have a little cage yes, around please. it. It had its own little fence around it because it got fucked up so many. I think at one time, somebody like started jackhammering it out. Let me get you, Roger. Lincoln one and three, Roger. The GTA is the battery gun to balance GTA Mall Pico and brand. Suspect has over the PR and pulled her out of the vehicle. PR flagged down and passing this white Toyota with tinted windows and she's currently waiting inside that vehicle. The digital on sale one side there. Ready for Blink and 14 Ratchet. 1189, 1189. Nine eighty nine for instance thirty seven sixty seven seven nine oh future. Thank you and code six. Were you the same Joseph's hospital R eighty nine? Ninety eight one Ninety nine cents store. Since they're all closing okay, down the only thing that's going to, that's worth going in there and getting 
which I got today was the Bush traffic on MMT. Batteries are like 40% off. So if you want to save some money on some batteries, that's probably not much cheaper than oh, getting them from Amazon. 415 Street, Coach Woods, and 13 and 4471. Besides that, the only thing left in the 99 cent store is preg pregnancy tests. Pregnancy tests, batteries. What else? Also, nothing. Street, Incense 4603, and we should need to find out how to be fine. Front of the address does not to you. On Emerson Street. Excel 97 and PS in front of the address and does not speak Incident 167, RD7, Dude, this dude's underwears are like popping out of his shirt. Looking like Jiffy Pop. Sticking out like like a jiffy pop popcorn. Stab wounds at a hall and back. Station 1720 East Cedar Chavez at White Memorial Medical Center. 
The subject is a male on male with multiple stab wounds. Unknown where the incident occurred. Code 2 incident 0177. RD 453. At the hospital. Look at this dude. Thanks, thank you much. Just tweaking out with the traffic cone, using it as a bazooka or some shit. What's this dude up to? Hey, one domestic violence restraining order violation on Andrew. Hey, yo, put the bazooka down, bro. Easy there, bazooka Joe. Okay, T35 stream minutes request a minute. Right. Put it down. Yeah. 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 That other dude up against where the tattoo shop next to the neon sign, that dude's tweaking. He's got dreadlocks, that dude's tweaking hard. Oh, he seems to calm down, but he was like just shaking back and forth, back and forth. Let's get into a rap cipher or something, bro. Yo, when you guys beatbox or something? Yo, they call me Traffic Cone. They call me Mr. Traffic Cone, and you don't want no static homes. Crossing in a partial change of curve 206 North Advanced Street, 206 North Advanced Street, one shot for screeching tires, a vehicle speeding away, approximately Christian, possibly southbound for First Street. Heard only. Scope 3 and 190, NRD 20. 206 Edgemont, possible shooting near Hollywood. Incident 1740, 1267. Shots heard. We're gonna go over there. Let's get a jump on it. I know you have twenty seven. And today it's zero four seven or he calls zero three. Seven six seven, send me in today one seven four. I see seven, Roger. Side a black Prius subject is a PR male spending 47 years. Black shirt, blue jeans, black shoes. Vice is in possession of a knife. On the time let's go to incident 187 or 1162. That's a shot to wire call. I about 20. Show me responding to you just about me. Normally I wouldn't go unless it's a kind of like a confirmed shooting. One Roger. It's so slow. Might as well. It is uh seven minutes away, so it's not like right around the corner. Central 
line for the 3 8 and 4 by are going to the Camarino Place. You guys do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. It's Method Corner Street Radio Relation 5100 DeSoto, 6100 DeSoto Avenue, Unit 112. Hit the thumbs up enough times, uh, YouTube will start recommending the video to other people. Or the channel and the videos. So it does help a lot. Units 2065 East 1 correction 105th Street. Do you guys see the fight? Hello, Ryan. Department 101. Suspect, child's father, mm -hmm. male, 390, shirt, black pants, which is 2070. What's crazy is uh, Garcia almost was like losing the fight. And Pico, and uh, White Toyota, and 1075. I think even at the second. Um, After the second knockdown, he was still like in danger of losing the fight. On point. That's a shooting rubber violation in state 176. I think after the third one, it was just kind of like, all right, it's separated. See, there's no acknowledgement. Do you want us to go outside? Elnes, Vermont and Sunset, Vermont and Sunset on the Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital parking lot. The PR is in a 2019 black Toyota Prius. He's a male, 47 years old, wearing a black shirt, blue jeans, black Jordans. Yeah, it seemed like Haney didn't really like want to Ran attack. His vehicle that anyone that approaches suffers from PTSD. Mm -hmm. And depression. Go three incident two zero five RD eleven fifty one North Eugene Town identify. Oh, is this the press oh, press from Pete, 47 years old, wearing a black button of the Hollywood. See, there is no acknowledgement. Do you want us to go outside? We're going to go to this next. Oh, Elmes, Vermont and Sunset, Vermont and Sunset of the Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital parking lot. The PR is in a 2019 black Toyota Prius. He's a male. 47 years old, wearing a black shirt, blue jeans, black Jordans, threatening to ram his vehicle at anyone that approaches, suffers from PTSD and depression. Go three incident 205 RD 1151, North Eugene, Town, Oregon. Well, that's different. He's in a car. That's car from El Paso. I thought this was just some guy who walked in off the street. Who knows? No further. We'll go to that afterwards. Scenario 206 North Edgemont. Are you in a barrier in progress? 811 South Columbia Street, 811 South Columbia Street, Street. Go three incident at 211 RD. Well, sounds like the cops just got to where we're going right now where there's possible shots fired. No. It was only one gunshot heard, so it could have been a car backfire. Suspects are two males in a tan or white tan motorhome blocking the entrance to service vehicles. Put two incidents 0209 RD 555 for traditional. Protocol missing juvenile broadcast missing from 3328 Merced Street. Subject Samuel Jimenez, male Hispanic, brown, brown, 5'3, 100 pounds, 14 years, date of birth 1. To 2010, subject last seen 421, 2024 at 1800 hours, wearing a blue sweater, gray shirt, blue pants, blue backpack, mental condition is fair, subject has a history of cutting and suicidal thoughts, information contact Northeast Division incident 213. 
Brooklyn begins, Harkin Man, I've talked to a woman, St. Andrews and Rosewood, St. Andrews and Rosewood at the intersection. Especially as a male black, wearing a brown t-shirt, khaki pants, bald, thin built, black and 35 years. Says he was hoping a female white in a white dress, bald, short, heavy sets, coat pants at 215, ID 2002, on the big to handle identified. St. Andrews and Rosewood? Show me around. Sounds like a pimp. No, not 50, Roger. Pimp situation. In Coronado. The attempt to 11 occurred approximately two months ago. The PR identifies the suspect. PR has the bus stop, so it's across the street in the bushes. Transient, now black, late 20s, tall house. I'll right be back. here in one minute. Two incident, 217, I don't think this is going to be any, anything really. We'll see. Very, very close. They refer to 7 Stand by. Code 3 incident 215, RD 2002. 2847, PR, better location, wish to meet. Oh, dude, I had it on top messages. And hey, make sure you guys hear that. Hit that uh, gear item, that gear uh, icon or gear button, and hit all messages. Don't be a dumbass like me. 2839, 2839, did you receive? Leave it on top messages. Oh, yes, before 206 South S1, no evidence trouble. Uh, Alright, no evidence of trouble. Okay. What time did the shooting come out? There you go. You want to pay 523, you want to pay 523, you're still there. This is the cop car right here, I just called it in. No evidence of trouble. Follow code six to his uh, station. If Compton and Long Beach got together, then you know we're in trouble. North East ambulance overdose. Nine two three Nolden Street. Code two zero four five nine nine area eleven twenty seven. We get through here. Three thirty five council of call and North East eleven eight thirty one Hamlin. Can I go through? Or am I supposed to do reverse? They'll be there beating on some girl. Metro Street incident 210 RD1395. I guess we go to Hollywood Presbyterian. Let's go see if the guy's still threatening threatening to uh, run people over in his car at the hospital. Northern East Coast responding. Northern 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 Eleven eight seventy one eleven eight seventy one cancels incident four five nine nine eleven eight twenty five responding. Heard one eight five nine one eighty fifth street. One eight five nine one eighty fifth street. I know suspect shot here on his leg. Possible and I want to be a related to incident zero zero three five. It's code three incident zero two one eight thirty twelve sixty three. Dude, I'll never forget during um, the lockdown. Was that 2020 of, into 2021? There's oh, some, incident two zero. Right, that's like when LA had all so many people living on the streets. There was a dude living right there next to that Little Caesars, straight ahead, right there on that fucking sidewalk. <laughs> Just living in filth, right? Living in his tent, and all this trash around, and these giant rats. Because there are so many people living on the streets that we have this big rat problem. And these rats are going right over him, dude. Like walking right on top of him. He just lay there, like he was unaffected by these giant rats just going over him.
Remember all those people, all the rats? Because there are just so many people living on the streets. They would never clean that anything up. There'd be all kinds of food laying around. Food and trash. The Rat King, yeah. Someone did call him the Rat King. Okay. Oh, LA doesn't have many rats. It does, but... They be hiding. Living, uh, living on the side of the freeway and stuff. He was seen entering the first floor, then pushing on the first floor, then enter the parking lot. Because the reason it's 222 and 92. It just since there was like less people moving out, moving around, there was a, all these people living on the streets, all this extra food and filth they could scavenge. They were everywhere. Dude. Coyotes, two coyotes started coming into the city. Oh. oh, here we go. This is the guy. It's up ahead like a mile here. At sunset. So they're saying he possibly has a knife. Same dude matched the description. Parking lot of the Hollywood Presbyterian, Vermont, and Sunset. Right there, Vermont, Sunset. He has turned on his hazard lights. Vehicles have black Prius. We got a live one. So this is the dude he's been out there raising a ruckus at the hospital, having some type of mental health thing. Um, threatening to run people over with his car. I think this has been going on for like 20 minutes. It's an edge weapon. He might have an edge weapon. They're calling for the... Call to for cop, Any mission you need to have cops with the less lethal, lethal gun. The green, big green Nerf gun. Unit found adult. 795 East 17th Street, Code 2, Incident 4893, RD 1834. Rampart Supervisor, Truth, Molly 285-3925, Applied Identify. Battery, Domestic Violence, West 87th Street, Broadway, Code 2, Incident 0100-1802. All the vehicle suspect there now, 3933 Nicolette, in the rear alley, suspect male, wheel black switcher, blue jeans, attempted to break into parked vehicles, vehicle alarm is going off and windows are breaking, it's go to incident 232 and RD 361. The better location is the unit number 510 is the suspect and the victim is standing by in the lobby. This is it right here, Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center, Fountain and Vermont. And, uh, oh, they got him in Little Armenia. They got him in custody. Well, that's good. Over the Prius. Where's that cop going? 
Go to another call. I'm seeking a station back. I don't want to be 201, you need a station. 340, talk to Ted. Hey, I'm out here, Stunax, I'm from Assassin, and I agree, Dan. Scutcher's in 231, RD212. No way, Skittles. Well, leave us alone. I don't really like to show, like, too much mental health care shit, but... Vine and Yucca. This dude was like uh, threatening to fuck, you know, six, run people 10, 15, over. Units shooting on one zone North Alexandria Avenue, one zone North Alexandria Avenue. Scotia mm -hmm. Rian sent to 3920 to 10. That's where these guys are. D39 now. So shooting call now, and all they'll handle with the delay. Scotia Rian sent to 3920. I think that's close to where I just went to that shooting call, dude. So maybe they found evidence. I'm in three block cases, additional cause they have sent 239. Let's see, by Normandy? I think it is, dude. It's cool. What was the other address? Um, Raposa, Normandy. 26, I just think we got a call from 1st and Barrendo Street. Alright, we're just gonna go check it out. One will recreate. Correct address is 9014 Orion. 1st and Barrendo to 177 North Alexander. So I wonder if they actually found the evidence of the shooting. It looks like it's right around the corner. So that's where we just came from before this call it was uh, someone heard one shot fired and the car is screeching away. But they were looking, uh, I think they just were looking on the wrong street maybe. We'll see right now. It sounds, if anything, this probably just... 43, David, 7460855. might have found a... Maybe they just find a showcase or something. Okay, work okay. 45, handle the 449 suspect there now. 13147 Lake Street, cut 3 incident 243, already 1460. And that you call him in order for him to buzz. His callback number is in the comments of the call. Jeremy Roger. Two four six thirty six six nine. You will sure you can have your Green North Alfred. Go to the two four seven thirty seven oh one. I'll be good to see them. The Oh yeah, so this is the, the, this is the next street over. I went to Edgemont. Wow. This is the street I came right where the cop car was right here, Edgemont. And now we're going to the right up here, just right behind the street right here. Let's see what they found here. 
Unless somebody else called in something. Three one semi C and Tenantis. Looks like there's like a construction site or AMC and U loose. 3400 Eddy Street, Oakland, California. There's an empty lot right here. Seven four six zero eight five five. Paris Kashal Anthony. Seven seven Alexandria. I don't see nothing. Cops are here, but we'll see. We'll wait around for a couple of minutes, see if they find something. We'd have to find a victim or something if there's a shell casing in that lot. It's just gonna be nothing. Could have been a firework. They said it was only one. Been, there's a big empty lot, so they could have just thrown the firework into that lot. 185 edition of your front of the house room. Pierre is walking to the bedroom. Another person walks through the other bedroom. The front door to her unit is open. She's on the 12th floor. Two, come in. Right. you verify code contact. You better lock the door so no girl opens my door again. Right. 101 Roger from Central Station. 235, you repeat last 235, 4902. One hour with the initials responding back to 85 for Central Station. 15 Roger. Pressure power. I think they're just doing their investigation. If you can see on the right over here, there's like where that yellow sign is. To the right of that, it's like an empty property. So I don't know, they might be looking there. It's a big empty lot, like for a big apartment building site. Fenced up. To the left when you enter the room that the person went into is to the right and she lived alone no description if it's a male or female or clothing the front door she's a caregiver to a hundred male hundred year old male residents currently sleeping huh? animal crow t21915 Gold street in the parking lot of the big five in the tire shop Suffer vehicles are gold or brown Toyota Corolla and a license plate. 100 year old man dogs. sleeping. Dogs inside for the past seven hours appear to be in distress. Code 2, incident 256 and RD 2146. So it's in South Flower Street. Security has been notified since the East Tower, Unit 211, received notification saying the tenant locked herself in the bedroom. They are sending security to check the unit. So this is Unit 249. Very big code. We're unable to make it. Uh, we'll give it like five. A couple minutes. Nine. Put the clock on. Five minutes. Three, one, four, seven. You got something you want to say? You want me to read or say it now while I'm... Standing still reading the chat. Hey, this is your one of me. 16, you won. Stand by. Any building in a possible 41st suspect there in Alley 9 South Park Avenue, code 2 and send 260. This is uh, nothing right now. There's a report of one shot fired and a car taking off on the next block on the side, the next one block east. It's, uh, is Edgemont. Right now we're in Alexandria. I left, I went to go see that dude at the Presbyterian Hospital. And then I seen the cops came over here and they heard the call. 
And there goes the cops. I think they're looking for evidence of a shooting. There they go. They're looking for casings. But there was a report of just one shot fired, so. It could have been a backfire, it could have been fireworks too. Yeah, my 1449 only repeat the last message. This is going to be pretty hard for them to find one, one shell casing unless they know exactly someone witnessed it or something. Read this, please. Update on the skateboard murder? The lady that got shot in the head? That's about all I know. She was she made the news in the morning. She was a homeless woman shot in the head. If you're talking about that one. She was shot and dead. That's it. Were you around for the LA riots? Yes. I was in Little League. I remember our Little League baseball game got canceled. Because there was fires. Love your streams. Thank you very much. Quarlo? Good evening, Charles. Desert Van Life, what's up? Craziest call I've ever been to. Uh, that guy that crashed his car off of the 110 freeway landed in the river landed in the river right after it rained so there was a current and the river took them six miles from like highland park area to washington and soto down the la river dude and then it got rescued the current took them fucking six miles in like three feet of water survived it got rescued and thanks for reminding me because i want to actually get that footage and edit it that's probably the craziest call besides that the pretty much the riots the george floyd riots and that was just like a whole thing you know and what else that's about it maybe some uh, churches burned down Mm. Hey, Sin, are the cops always so chill with you filming? Is it a white truck partial plate of 17 William Nora? Most of the time, yeah. 17 but... of William Nora, four suspects. One through two are female blood, don't for the description. Suspects three to four are male blood, 20 years. It's go to incident 06. This is out of Hollywood. Nora, this is out of Hollywood right here. What is this? Into a white truck partial plate of 17 William Nora. 17 of William Nora, four suspects. One through two are female black, no further description. Suspects three to four are male black, 20 years. It's go to incident 06. Correction, incident 0216 and RE648. Oh, something about a truck and hauling suspect females, female blacks. We follow Northeast Station. Thanks for checking. Let's see if they update that on. Um, Are they always showing no, up? I mean, not all the time, but. Pretty much you gotta just stay out of the way behind the tape. I try to stay away and take advantage of my Zoom. Is there something going on at the Scientology building? I don't think so. Hit the like. Yeah, hit the like. We're uh, there. Taco time. We're catching Pokemon. Craziest call. Under 13th Street. Suspect is male. Unknown. Hit the Citizen. People didn't like it. Yeah, man. Well, you can't go filming anything, bro. Look, you got. That's why I always say, if if the juice isn't worth the squeeze, like I don't get out. Heard only. 514 Falcon Avenue, code 2 and 0246, RD669. Why do I string? Uh, the action. Fresno. 
did he live? Yeah, he was lived and he lived and he was rescued. And I actually want to find out who he is. And I need a connection at the DMV because all I know is I have this plate. Because I want to do like a little mini documentary on that dude, man. Because that's like the craziest shit I've ever seen. It was like beyond a movie. I don't think a movie, a scriptwriter wouldn't even write it because he, he wouldn't even, it sounds too fake. It was like a movie, dude. Like he was in, where he ended up in the river, it was like where it gets all wide. If he would have went like a couple hundred more feet, he would have probably died. Because there was like, um, it's where the river widens up and there's like these little, uh, I don't even know what you would call it, but there's like dividers where it gets split into like four sections and it becomes like rapids. You know what I mean? Like he wouldn't have been able to swim out of that. I don't think so. So it was like, and he was just waiting in the middle of the fucking river and he was all fucked up. His legs were thrashed. His pants were got ripped off. And like his legs and his ass were like, they had to be bleeding and scraped up. Right, you know? I'm sure he didn't fucking walk for like a month, bro. If he didn't break anything, it'd be a miracle. And even if he didn't break anything, I guarantee that dude did not walk for like a month because of the bruising and the scrapes. And then, like, when he seen the rescuers, dude, he was like praying to God, you know, to get him. And then they, they were, had to lift him up. The water wasn't that deep, so they sent like a rescue team and they walked into the river. But he just had no more energy, bro. Whatever he was took him down the river, he was. I'm assuming he he was hanging on to like a piece of dry wood or a tire or some shit that he helped ride him down the river. And then like when the rescuers got to him, he just collapsed, bro. Like he, when they lifted him up to walk out to walk to where they're gonna lift him from the bridge, he collapsed, bro. He had zero. Like he wasted all of his energy to fucking stay alive. And if you see how long and how far that is, bro, it's fucking like, I can't remember if it was 5.6 miles or 6.5 miles. But it's just a fucking absolute miracle, bro. What is this? Code 6. Suspect. Email over to Sun Hill, Mother Fripper, there, Coach Winston, 282, 2019. Nine David Henry Frank, 152, involved in a hit and run. Have you ever had a pulled gun on you out here? No. Roger. You filmed it? Yeah. We streamed it. I filmed it. I got it all. But I need a. I don't know, maybe he wouldn't want to do an interview. You know when it was? I'm pretty sure it was a St. Patrick's Day. So if you go to it's go to this If you go to this in the channel, search St. Patrick's Day. I think it was St. Patrick's Day because one time I looked someone looked it up. The live stream, just search St. Patrick's Day in the last St. Patrick's Day. But not the last one, the one before that, but I think it's just the one. It's a live stream and then just forward towards the end. And you'll see they were looking for him in the river and they called off the search. They searched for him for like two, not two hours, maybe like an hour and a half. Fire department, rescue team, helicopters, they put markers in the water. All that shit for like, they searched for miles, bro. All through past downtown and they gave up like... I don't know, like a mile before where they found him. You know, they were like, well, he's gone. Because his car ended up in the river, stuck, and it got filled with water. 
And I guess they thought he got out and just like walked away. But some homeless dude was there and he was like, no, he got out of the car and the current took him away. And to be honest, I didn't believe it. I don't think they really believed it, but he said it. So they have to do the search, you know. I was like, nah, I think this is tripping. I don't because the current, I don't know, it seemed like it wouldn't be that strong enough to take somebody or that deep. Like, you know, if you, you know, that river right there, the creek, it's like a cutout in the center that's, I want to say it's only like three feet deep at the most. Only that was full of water. So, yeah, if you want to see it, check out a look up St. Patrick's Day in here. On this channel under the live section and just go towards the end and you'll see like i had given up and gone all the way back to i think i was going back to hollywood after this they gave up the search and then it came out it came out that they found a woman in the in the la river but like on soto and washington and i was like there's no way that's the person bro that's like far as fuck you know I was like, there's no way you would make it through that whole fucking channel system over there. There's no way. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. I mean, it is someone in the river that's going to get rescued. Most likely. And it was a woman. Uh, they said it was a man. Like, at the, where it crashed. Yeah. And when I got there, I think I was like there. I think I was the first one there. And then one cop car. Either one cop car was there. Or they pulled up right after I got there. It was, I remember it was like one, I think it was two lady cops and they were, they were also in disbelief. Yeah, it was from Highland Park. Where do you want to do it? Anyways, I wish someone would, uh, can you look someone up by their, can you legally look someone up by their license plate number, their service? Honestly, if that was me, I'd want the footage. Maybe not right away, but after some time and you recover, it's like, that's like a fucking, I don't know, I don't know, I guess people are different. I'd want it, but I don't know if he'd want to know. I don't know if that person would want to relive it, you know? He, he might be the type of person that would never ever want to relive or think about it ever again. Eddie's routine, control indicated near repair location. Please go for the Charles, 257 Long Wallen Drive, front suspect. You know the name, what's the name? Send it to me, AXN News LA. 535, the security guard from 114. AXN News LA on Instagram, send it to me. contact i'd reach out to him it's up to him if he wants nothing to do with it or what it didn't make the news because i believe it was on a saturday night or something 
It was a Saturday it's night and a holiday weekend. So, it was like the Sunday news. They didn't make the Sunday news. And, I'm going to get in Mita Bell, 18 and a 2013 Silver Infinity, 7254 Pleasure Boulevard of the Travel Inn Hotel. Monocon's traditional, it's put to a sign, 0306, 1668. Well, if you know the guy's name, send it to me, AXN News LA on Instagram. Send me a DM. Hey, thanks for hitting that like, Elena. Elena. Lozano on the loose. Remember that dude? Rick, was it Rick Lozano? Lozano on the loose, Fox 11? Rick Lozano, remember he used to do sports too? 4893, we have a Fifteen eight three, Coast Station, Highway, Coldwater, five three zero zero zero, Adam three, stand by on the plate. Hey, thanks for sending it. If you do send it, I just would want to investigate, like see who he is, kind of. Roger, Coldwater, North and Sherman. If I find out it is the guy, maybe I'd put the I put the footage together, and then kind of be like, look, look at all the footage that I got. Not the live stream footage, but the higher quality footage. A little edited and like, dude, I need, I need to get an interview, man. Hello, again, screaming woman. Five 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 Harold Way. Five 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 Harold Way. Coming from unit one eighteen or one seventeen on the first floor. Code three and ten zero three one zero eight three. Shit, I think it could be an episode for a Scott's for Scott's project, Scott Show. Actually, I never thought about that. What is this? So Scott's, Scott has a crew out there. He's filming a project right now with this. Actually, that would probably be a really good thing to put on the show. For pickup, Daniel Salcedo, 13801 Hoyt, number 107 in Pacoima. What's up, Donnie F? F, I mean, Christian. Unit 97, Roger. Arrested response was 143, then Nunya Business, watching from Australia? Are you a different Nunya Business? Are you the old Nunya Business? Minnesota, Central, South of 1, 2. 1393, Central, South of 12. Bond in any other available unit. Did I call? Roger, 142, continue response. In any other available unit, available response, identify it. Available unit, available response, identify it. Supervisor responding, identify. Three, one, two, short, back in. Problem here. Dragonfly, this club is popular right here. But, uh. I'm funny, yes. Roger. When I still have her beat. 45, Roger. They, a crowd, like a year ago, a crowd of fucking people beat up a security guard. Like, I think they beat him. Pretty sure they beat him to death right here. Because I remember I came after. And I was right here, and some dude in a Tesla drove drove through the tape, through the police tape. After. After. Middle Eastern, Oh, someone crashed into a wall here. Three one zero six, Jefferson Middle Eastern, forty three ninety, Mediumville, wearing the black sweater, jeans, and gray shoes, PC to the wall. 
Good to the 319 RD 2027. Where? Oh, what's crap? Oh, fuck, man. I hate when I don't hear the address. It's right here in Hollywood. I'm assuming it's going to be by Hollywood Boulevard. Remember I, remember I was saying about the public storage building? There's a, this is the one I said that was in Hollywood. It's another public storage building. They're really. They're always really nice, and then there's like nothing around them. There's no other tall buildings around them. Use your signal. Ah! Let's see if this comes out on pulse point right now. Three ninety man that crashed into the wall in Hollywood. Where was it? Seventeen at Van Woman dispute. Seventy five seventeen South San Pedro Street at the Top Hat Motel. Room number one twenty five. Suspect is a friend, female black, early thirties, middle clothing. Vandalizing the Paris property, being four fifteen, refusing to leave. Purchase and it's reached two already talking. Just the fire department hasn't got the call yet. It definitely was Hollywood. Oh, I'm gonna go to Hollywood Boulevard. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Eight Henry Young, call one three four. Should probably pop up right now. Maybe citizen. Twenty thirty five requesting a sentry unit with a shield respond to incident three zero three. Twenty five thirty five one three. Oh, Fairfax and Eighteenth Street. Informational incident three two one. 20 EMS station, I'm grabbing shit. EMS police response. I'm going to put it in one right now. Stand by. Give me that one minute. Police activity, Hollywood. Major 1841 and 861 en route. Both are shield equipped. Lefty West. You're a 40 year old, possibly. 40 year old, possibly drunk. At MLS, come to the side, 1377 Real Street. Possibly drunk, 40 year old Middle Eastern man in Hollywood. Where would you crash into a wall? Correction, PCPD, Sunny, Aaron, 747-750. I guess it's not going to come out. It's available. Take the one, Roger. One incident. 7 Fifty-five standby. Party eighteen thirty-four. Tower three disregard. We're holding two code two calls on seventy-seven. Uh, uh, that lady was because I turned. I was turning and I was filming the building, and she said, "She yelled like, hey, turn your turn your signal there on." And she was kind of like sm laughing, so I was like, ah. Suspect 
I'll still show you responding to the code 2. 57 South, St. Andrews, please. Is this I'll show you responding to the code 2. This might be at St. Andrews. 57 South, St. Andrews, please. St. Andrews is around here. Area 357 South St. Andrews. 357 South St. Andrews. I'll still show you responding to the code two. That might be it. 357. 357 South mm -hmm. St. Andrews, please. St. Andrews, please. Oh, that's kind of far. 10 minutes. Too far for a dude to crash into a hey, wall. The sidewalk's blue. This is the period of Amadeus ADW just occurred, 1002 Venice Boulevard. Incident 331, RD 1443, stand by for additional. So, with the deadly weapon on Venice, 1002 Venice. That's gonna be too far, 10 miles from here. Goddamn. It's 26 minutes to get there? Oh, it's all right. Detroit, you want more scroll on Paul Mod 9, that we're Frank Young. It's um, by Venice Beach, that's right. Lincoln. 27 uh, Frank. The sidewalk is... I think it's gray. It's like a speckled charcoal gray. With the stars in the middle. 649, do you have a entry code for 555 Herald Way? Mr. Manchester. Osage. All units 14 and 67 to 20, code 3 from Manchester and LSH to 1002 Venice Boulevard. 20 units. Responding units down to reduce. 1, 2, and 7, 3, 0, 3. Sufficient units. The ground has a lot of, like, uh, what did I say? Speckled? You see, it's like, it's like gray, but it has like a lot of chips of... to Maria, this will go to Vargas. 41824, Road, Maybe, maybe it is a super dark blue. Hey, Roger. 19861, PD still needed on incident 4772. The PR requested me. I don't know what they have in it to give it that white look. I think it's like ground up concrete or glass and stuff. Emission unit racing vehicle. 8334 North Sepulveda, suspect male has panic 27 years old in a gray Toyota Camry on a license plate. Doing donuts at location. Code 2 incident 336, 1983. This is one of the best uh, names for a bar ever. The Frolic Room. Bring a wallop to the Frolic. Code six, four, nine, Actually, on. Never noticed how nice that building was. Pantages. I don't even know what they what they do in the Capitol Records building. They should probably turn it to a hotel. Occurred at 10027, and it's full of our downgrade response. That's the way. Roger. Pacific Unit 14867, additional on your suspect, female black, pink clothing, fled unknown type of vehicle. In Gravel? Unknown direction, Don't they put glass, like round up glass, in some of the like cement too, or? When the cement shines. 
Section for Mont. Yeah, man, it's been slow as shit today. Nothing. Not even one. Anything. Penny Hollywood units, 450 men, 6677 Santa Monica Boulevard, incident 0275, RD 663. 507 Radio 1933 North Bronson Avenue, Incident 0334, RD 628. 677 Santa Monica? You can never repeat your little volume. Well, maybe this guy will bring some action. Whatever this guy looks like. 4057 Q. on the. 4447, do you want me to just put you out to the station? Or put you on the other battery call? I think it's that same fucking gay cowboy club. Uh, you just come be clear, but I'm gonna keep uh, his Time to ask what? Why do you guys watch these streams? Let's do a little survey. Like what? What's your favorite part of the stream? It keeps you coming back for more. Nothing else is on it this time. Background noise. Let's see life in other cities. Like seeing the city I live in live. Live, driving, insomnia, Taco Bell. Mm. Is live, live. So most people watch it just because it's live and in LA, so like. But is it more of the stuff that we see out here? Because to me, like, I just care about getting to the scenes, you know what I mean? All the rest of the stuff is just filler. Oh, is this the guy right here? Oh, no, that's a Uber Eats guy. But I've learned over time that, like, bro, half the people don't give a shit, man. Can we put it in your spec? 
This was the address where the guy was acting up. I thought it was this dude. This dude's just an Uber. Uber Eats, I think. Yes, but 455-55 Harold Way, no evidence of screaming woman. It's like the talk. We're doing a sightseeing thing. Code two incident three five two RD six forty six. What's the real time information? Two thirty one out of eighty five. One eighty five, one eight eighty five. First distance left for one all two thirty. Eight two three four St. Avenue, incident zero three four three RD sixteen eighty one. Oh, oh, they canceled it. We could have handled it. Alright. Then why don't you guys watch my other channel, though, if you care about the tours and going to cool places. Southeast unit, 211, correction, 211 South Central Avenue, code 2, incident 0214, RD 1804. 2017, 20, 2017, 20, come in. Is it because most people are working? Working earlier in the day? 1983. Years, to have dude, one night, and a, car, a car barely missed this tent one night, dude. It hit right here where this cowboy's at right here. You see where this cowboy's at? Dude, it almost took out all these fucking people, bro. It hit right next to the Mexican Marlboro man over here. I'm oh, sorry, let's not judge him. He could be Salvadorian. Salvadorian. Salvador, yeah. Figueroa, apartment 1731, it's code 2 incident, 357 and RD-132. And the car, like, hit this thing, and they're just like, life goes on, dude. They weren't even shook up. Dude, I remember a, a fucking engine flew out and hit the actual, like, grill at in South L.A. And them dudes are just annoyed that they had to close down. Like they weren't shook up at all. I'm like, bro, you came like eight feet away from bro, fucking dying, bro. Like an, an entire engine, like eight feet. Like that shit would have definitely fucking killed you, or any scorching liquid would have got on you, bro. Like, it could have went so bad. They're like, ah. They're more mad that they had to clean up and go home. Which, oh yeah it's just my other channel i kind of like obviously this channel grew grew so much faster and so much bigger. Well, I used to do stuff over there. You know, that was my main channel. And then... When I would get all the subs would be when I would go and cover, like, the new stuff, you know? But then people would come and they'd sub to the channel and then they'd come and be like... Hey, I Roger. Verify for male or female? Why are you not going and filming new shit, you know what I mean? And I'm like, ah, well, I don't feel like it. I don't want to do it all the time. Incident 0345. And then that's when I was like, well, I gotta, I'm gotta, i going to make a separate channel so that way, like... Because that's the thing about YouTube. It's like, if you, your channel, if you notice all the channels that get big, it's because they're just about one I thing, you know? Like, say, even on this channel, say I go live and I go to, like, a concert or something, it's going to have, like, one-fourth the viewers, because 
people expect a certain thing, you know, what I mean? that's why they go to the channel. So, since this one, I don't know, it just built up, so I focus on this. Unit, battery domestic violence, 87th Street, Broadway, code 2, incident 0100, RTD 02. But I'm going to try to build it up again. I think I'm going to do less live things and maybe more edited stuff to try to build it up. Because that's the thing with the live shit, it's just hard to do live stuff. Man. During the day or earlier in the day, you can't get around the city, you know? It's only at night that we can do this. Like, this is almost impossible to do during regular hours, bro. Like, if something happens where I'm at, you know what I mean? Like, I'll go live or something huge, like a plane crash or some shit. I'll deal with the traffic. But besides that, like, most of the scenes, if they're not big-ass things, like a huge fire or P. Diddy's house getting raided or something, like, you got to get there right away. wrapped up by the time you get there. Try streaming Pacific before. Pacific Unit Trespass Suspect 5223 West Century Boulevard. Incident Try streaming before noon. I don't know. Maybe. Gotta sleep and work too, man. Fuck, man, it's so goddamn fucking slow. Alright, where do you guys want to go? You guys want to go anywhere around here? It's 2 a.m. People, uh, crime and fire has decided to take a break today. There's no one out. Skeleton of Bart Bart Simpson skeleton. That's Bart Simpson, homie. I think. Uh, at this time of night? Uh, I don't feel like getting cavity searched. Southeast unit, battery suspect there now. 1904 East 1. 113th Street, 02, incident 0272, RD 1849. Taco truck, uh, too much Skittles. Actually, this is like one of the only days I'm not hungry. Just because I ate tacos earlier, right before I. I try to eat before I start the stream. Hold on, five feet. Just be better for there. Look, there's another storage place. Look how nice that storage building is. 
Dude, LA's premier fucking architecture is all. It's all storage buildings. It's called off the contribution of your house. Look how sick that shit is. Uh, Art Deco. 2073, Code 6, East West Alley, West of Harvard, North of Fortnite. 2061, Architect rolling over in his grave right now, bro. Actually, no, nah, he's probably happy because he designed it as a storage place. But he's like, damn, I should still stand it up as a storage place? It's a nice building, but it's also nicely restored, painted, and lit. Lighting is... If you want to, like, increase the value of your... Well, I don't know if it really increases the value that much, but it increases the ambiance, I guess, the way it looks and feels. Landscape lighting, bro. Just put some LED lights under your tree, pointing up. Should I turn? Eight, 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 Makes it all romantic and shit. ever see something I think was on like um, I don't know if it was Vice or something similar to Vice where some dudes that live somewhere in the Middle East like in a desert climate like in the desert right they they started planting all these trees and I don't know where they got the water from but they watered it and they created like a fucking I think it took them a long time though like 20 years or something but they created like a whole different, I think it was like a microclimate they called it. Like they, pla in this desert, like they planted all these fucking trees and like all this, just these plants that are not native, but they had water there. They changed the soil around in it. It like completely changed. It was pretty crazy actually. It was like a movie set, but it was like real. Battery suspect there down, 1904 East 113th Street, 2 incident 0272 RDD. Like they made it tropical in the fucking desert. It was sick, bro. Like, it just was all tropical in there. And I forgot what they did. I think they started bringing, like, different species in there. And then it was just kind of, like, naturally growing and expanding a little bit. Adam Supervisor. Haven and Don't they have it in Palm Springs? Well, kind of. But this was like, it's almost like they built a rainforest in the desert. It wasn't like uh, Palm Springs. Like, they put, oh, was that a gunshot? Nine sixty one. Are you close to on the call on Main Street? Is it two eighty two? Am I tripping or do that kind of sound like gunshots? Like pat, pat, pack, pack. No, your shirt's wet. Did they just run over a metal plate or something? The current hotel. Close 
Lakes, Highland, North of Franklin. Charles Frank, 35420. 367, cancel infinite 100. 1863 will handle. Good job, Roger. It was backfire? Oh, maybe. What's smart? That was mental illness, 3731 Norton Avenue in front of the location, so it didn't assist 60 year old. Oh, it kind of sounded like it wasn't like right here. Maybe it would be on the back street. Well, funny. Hi, David Adam 138. We're going to go with no. Okay, 55. Wasn't this the hotel I was on the exhibit album cover right here? Right here, the downtowner the motel. Male, his lower back, not due to the pulse. Exhibit. Third. Oh, can you even see the album cover and where the album mark? A six nine Roger. At the speed of life. A sixty nine. Exhibit album cover. Yeah, I heard unknown amount of vehicles in the street. Twelve took over. Go to intent three seven seven RD twelve thirteen. Location or code six with twenty eighty ninety seven. Is it? Yo, it, not only was it on the inside, it was on the fucking actual CD. The downtowner motel, or was it a different downtowner motel? Where's that little wall? Did you as your battery domestic violence at Broadway 99 Street is now an ambulance of battery domestic violence. Still code 2 and then 365 I think this is another location somewhere, dude. Oh, that's why I got confused. That's why I was confused because look at that sign. It's downtowner. This one. I don't know. Maybe if they change the sign, but. One on 20 Rogers, that little wall is not here. The foundation. Western and Boston. Any other unit coming on the tower frequency for vehicles racing 54. It was probably another location, another downtown or hotel. I never heard of another location. The foundation. Want the speed of life. Mr. X to the Z, the liquid MCs. Look at this dude, sellingspit.com. Any Southeast unit, ambulance, battery, domestic violence, Broadway 99, code 2, Wolf and Spit. Selling Hey, go to sellingspit.com and see what Wolf Spit, the out. I guess this is an album. I forgot I, see, I read this last time. It's responding code 3 from 1002 Venice Boulevard to UCLA Hospitals, RA 63. Wolf Spit, huh? Go get that Wolf Spit. Oh shit. Double super chats. Hey, double super chats, eh? Seashell. Hey. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, fuck. What did I do? 439. 439, Alfred at Alf Towing wants you to call him regarding the like, authorities. Like the super chat, man. Hopefully, I didn't ban anybody. Hey, C. Shelly, thank you for that super chat, C. Shell. And Texas Shark. Hey, thank you for the Give me some loving people gas money. Thank you very much. Hey, Kenneth 
Colton. Thank you too, man. Kobe 3, are you in route? Sorry, I show you that thing. A desert van life, dude. Thank you for that super chat. Gas or homeless burgers? Yeah, if you're gonna, you're gonna put it that way, dude. This is not going to gas. We'll go next time. Next time we're in uh, Skid Row. I used to carry around a bag with all kinds of stuff. I just gave all the stuff that I had and bag of the way. Located at Children's Hospital. Hey, thank you guys, man. Sorry it's been so slow today, man. I can't really force anything. Well, I, guess it's, I guess it's good. It's the pan pages. Look at this. Good. This is classic Hollywood architecture. Are you still called six? Hollywood Pantages building. I'm surprised Scientology doesn't own this. Okay, they're reporting three individuals inside the elevator. MT supervisor is also on scene. Request for me. Oh, yeah, reporting 20303. Hey, Donnie F. Okay, Roger. What's the delay? It's the fun, dude. Hey, thank you guys, man. Almost making me blush. Hey, New York Hollywood unit, narcotic suspect 6940 Fulton Avenue, incident 364, RD 1521, 415 Group, 11111 Burbank Boulevard, incident 376, RD 1538, Code 30 Ringer, 5625. Hey, Timothy, Avenue, thank you very much. Hey, I got, I got, um, oh, I don't know you were watching me. I got, uh, um, fire extinguishers. They're in the back seat right now. Thank you very much for that super chat and the fire extinguishers. Dude, I got three fire extinguishers now. I gotta figure out a... If you think if I leave a fire extinguisher, a small one on the back, on the back deck by the speakers, you think that that would mess up the fire extinguisher? One of those mini ones? That's too much heat, huh? Walmart, victim is a female, 20s, wearing black clothing, white shoes. No. Stated was paid by sister. I don't know where to put all these fire extinguishers. Besides in apartment 220, go transit 392. Hey, sunny side. Take NorCal riding and us to see some supercars on Wilshire. Rid them. Is that a threat? Oh, the supercars on Wilshire? In Beverly Hills? How about we go up Sunset? Possible shooting just occurred at 1870 West 54th Street. 1870 West 54th Street. Heard only four gunshots and a vehicle grabbing their engine. It's code three incident zero four zero zero and RD twelve thirteen. The Wilshire stuff is all in Beverly Hills, I think. Call the inside line for L ninety one available. I don't want to get harassed by the Beverly Hills Check Police up, Department. That's exactly what's going to happen. Number thirty number one for you, Alex Wilshire Schwartz. Number two, no further. At this time, they literally have a drone, drone team. 
Southwest Sandwich Boulevard, Westbound Domestic Violence, CVPR 5467, West Sandwich Boulevard, we'll direct to the suspect. Good to him. It's enforcer 23301. Seven eight two, Roger. We'll go if nothing comes out. We'll go to the ones here. And I think there's some on Sunset. No? Eleven eight eight nine, Roger. West Fifty Fourth Street, fireworks only. They have drones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, right when you drive into Beverly Hills, they say it's the city under city under surveillance or drones. I think it's I think it's the number one city in the country of surveillance. Like legit, from the moment you drive into Beverly Hills, your license plate is probably red. And they have cameras and microphones of most on There's all the main, at least on all the main streets. Santa Monica, they pretty much have a camera on every fucking every pole. And they have drones now, so like from the moment you drive into Beverly Hills, they got people monitoring it. Turning a bike that has one black wheel and one white wheel. So if, if you look a little area, suspicious, I'm sure they send people towards there. Our, our eight. Addition is at 365. Hey, Van Nuys Boulevard. Panic button activation. A silent alarm from a white tractor trailer with McLean written across the side of the vehicle. Driver activates it on themselves. Put the incident 408-3915. Elk Grove just approved a drone system. Is Elk Grove like the rich, Avenue, rich area by San Francisco? and Ice Boulevard. Correction, 9819 responding code 3 from Woodman, Ave Woodman Place and Woodman Avenue to 7018 Van Nuys Boulevard. Hey, thanks again, Kim. So did you guys better a location for your ambulance battery at Broadway 99th is Broadway Infantry in the tunnel of the parking lot of victims of female standing long by terror. No It's been a really quiet night. This is where that uh, dude from Ferris Bueller crashed into that pizza place right there. You guys watched. If you guys watched uh, live, Hall it was Halloween night. I think he was waiting at a light here. Right there, facing to our left, I guess. He was facing uh, south, where that mosaic was, waiting at the light. And then his car, truck just, that Rivian just accelerated, and he went right through the intersection. And he crashed right there where that, like, window is. Where the, like, peak is, the tile roof. Right at the bottom. I forgot what that guy's name was. I think he's more famous for. Uh, uh, what, what is he's on some show on Netflix? I think. Look this dude. dude. One oh ninety. One eighty five. Any high risk for. You thought that last dude was sagging. You thought he was sagging. 
You thought that dude with the boxers was sagging, dude. Look at no, this guy. 90 repeat the unit. City Southwest unit for a timed out code to call before going out of the division. Mail was meant to the 3731 North Avenue. Within a 3751 RD 
Yeah, I know it's uh, a lot of shit goes down over Well, San Bernardino is kind of like one of the spots where it was the cheapest to live in Southern California, and a lot of people like moved out there. Even a lot of people that got they got ran out of LA because of the gang injunctions and whatever. They just wanted to like settle down in the burbs. It was like one, I think one of the most the cheapest places to live for a little bit. It's like one time when I went to Victorville. I went to Victorville. I'm thinking like these are the burbs. It's gonna be like all calm out here. I think I went to a food for less in Victorville, and it was like, bro, this is like this is just like Compton, worse than Compton. Handle that one with a dispute. Code 2 Humble. Incident 3 994 12. Oh, dude, we just, I just passed the dealership. 947 cancel incident. 412 7 0 Handle. And I'll just there now. Handle 1 and then I can see on the southeast corner. Mail or the white sweatshirt. Near a green Honda Odyssey. Subject is a male, white, 40 year blue shirt, and blue pants. Under the influence. The gangs got priced out of LA. Well, sometimes families would move, like if they're say say there were families and say their kids were involved in gangs and they're fucking up, they'd move them out to these burbs, you know, like way out there, so they can get away from this that lifestyle. But all they did was import the lifestyle over there, you know. You always hear that story. That's how the gang spread. That's how it spread to like other states, especially other cities. They're like, hey, I got to get my son out of here. I'm going to take him over there. And then over there, the dude's like, what? We got a real gang member out here? He's like a fucking superstar. Dude, I'm starting my own gang out here. And then it's the same shit, bro. They got the same conditions that start the gangs out there. Same shit that caused the gangs out here. They have the same conditions out there. Avenue, 15 3 Alright, let's check out some supercars. We're, out, we're outside of Beverly Hills city limits, so I think. We're okay here. <laughs> oh shit. Look at this car on its side. Roll over. We had an expanded traffic collision here, sunset and something. Dude, won't that thing fall apart? Isn't this thing all carbon fiber? This looks all carbon fiber. You think this is real carbon fiber or the imitation eBay carbon fiber? It's just a wrap. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, we got some scrapes at the bottom. It's kind of weird. I've never seen a car. Specialty. The 2013 Caterham CT0305 Formula 1 car. 
the Caterham CTO3 is a Formula One racing car designed by Mark Smith for the Caterham F1 team. It was used during the 2013 Formula One season, where it's mainly driven by Guido van der Garde. That dude gets a lot of bitches, dude. If your name is Guido van der Garde, you better be a ladies' man. The car was unveiled on the eve of testing for the 2013 season at the Cir Circuito de Jerez. Circuito? Circuito? Racing history, blah, blah, blah. Weight, carbon fiber, monocoque, laminated form, carbon epoxy with honeycomb Kevlar structure. Whoa. What the fuck? Chassis, dude. Let me repeat this real quick. Carbon fiber, mono, cocky, cokey, laminated from carbon epoxy with a honeycomb Kevlar structure. Weight, 642 kilograms, including the driver and fuel. 14, 15 pounds, dude. Dude, this whole car weighs less than me. When I'm fueled up. There you go, dude. That's what the chassis is made out of. Horsepower, 750 to 830 horsepower at 18,000 RPMs, depending on curse mode. Electric motor. Red Bull technology curse recovered by MG UK, delivering 400 uh, lap of energy directly to the crankshaft. The naturally aspirated. Oh, I guess it has an engine and a motor, electric motor, too. And then we have the Batmobile right here. Oh, no. I know I mispronounced everything that was in there. Lamborghini. Those brakes, dude. For a supercar dealership, uh, you guys can't afford to have a dude wash the windows. Look at these windows, it's filthy, bro. Look at that. How's a man supposed to salivate over some supercars, dude, with the windows this dirty? Lambo. I have no idea what version this is. But it's a Lambo. Is it a Ventador? I can't even read what it says. Venta. What does it say? A Venta something. I've heard of the Aventador. There was a Maybach music back there. Rick Ross working on a diss track right there in the back right now, dude. That's his studio. Maybach music. That's another Lambo. You know what? I, I kind of like the matte black one better. What do you think, matte black or this one? Let's go honeycomb hideout back there. How much are these cars worth? Looks like they don't really have too many. No. Well, I guess this is a small dealership. It doesn't have that many. Lamborghini Urus. I don't know if that Ferrari is cool or ugly as shit. I'm still trying to decide. Ferrari. What 
What do you guys think? Oh, this rear end is just so ugly, dude. I know it's kind of has a cool old school look to it, but it's fucking ugly as shit in the back. It looks like a plastic shopping cart. Yeah, super chats. Sorry, Michelle, thank you. Shot simple. Thank you very much. I got horrible taste because well, I don't like a square back with the shopping cart handle in the back. Look how ugly this shit is, bro. That's good taste. That's good taste. If this shit was a Kia, would you be fucking salivating over it? Like, oh my god, Kia did it again. That square back with the fucking stupid spoiler. Oh no, not the fucking orange and red round lights. That's sick, bro. Kia did it again. That $3 million Kia. It may be a nice and expensive car, but that's ugly as shit. Dude, I think I'm. I think I'm taking the Maybach, dude. I don't want to stand out too much. Supercars aren't that cool to drive, anyways. Everyone I've known that has like a, a Lambo or supercar, like people I worked for, they're like, they all say the same shit. They're like, bro, this shit attracts more dudes than it does girls. Like, he's like, it, it helps, but he's like, he's like, to be honest, it's like 99% dudes. A specialty car collection, 1990 Ferrari F40 is known as Enzo's last masterpiece. It's the last mark that he could leave on his historic legacy. The F40 is known to all collector enthusiasts as one of the best cars ever made. It was the first road car to break the 200 mile per hour barrier. And it's also ugly as fuck from the back. Looks like a flat piece of shit with round lights and a supermarket cart. Spoiler that a five year old drew up. Specs 2.9 liter twin turbo V8, 471 horsepower, 426 pounds of torque, 201 mile per hour top speed, 0 to 60 miles per hour in four seconds. Oh, dude, my fucking Geo electric car gets that, dude. Five speed manual transmission. The F40 is one of only 213 cars produced for the United States market. One owner from new. Original luggage, original toolkit, original owner's manual, original window sticker. Circus, circus, service records available upon request. The last F40 being produced over 30 years ago. There will never be another car that means as much to the Ferrari as this car did. Since its debut, many companies tried to create an experience like the F40. No one, not even Ferrari, has been able to replicate the F40. Uh, I think I could have drew that up on a napkin right now, bro. Give me three napkins, I will replicate that shit. Three napkins, bro. I will design the back end of that fucking F40 right now. Who's this guy over here? 
Dude, this is an F40 right here, bro. Same color, bro. This is Ferrari red, homie. This is limited. I might just put that fucking spoiler right here. Like that, huh? Go to a custom shop. Dude, I want that F40 spoiler. If I put that spoiler in the back of this car, it'd probably look better than that shit. Man. This thing's worth a million dollars. Thirteen, eight, ninety-three, thirteen, eighty-three, come in. Around two. All right, enough of that. Are right, you satisfied, sunny side? Hope we didn't miss any calls. One fifty-two, one five two. Hill, suspect in custody. Are you there? I close to the front gate. For a PC at 18 and Fairfax? Yes. Yeah. All units, code for 7254 Foothill Boulevard, suspect in custody. Room 1731. Six, pound, correction, pound, six, one, one, five. Hey, that thing does kind of look like a Pontiac Fiero. Easy to leave location, suspect smell by transient. Inside this door, there's one it's in four, five, three. Oh, shit, was that closed over? Any stop with signal officer, meet 315 4471 West Adam. I think she was just fine. That information was 146. Are you satisfied with your uh, supercar request? Straight at the Cecil Hotel, code 2 and set up 452 and RD 164. Actually, the first week I got it, I got on my first plate. Something for two males. I forgot what we were doing. We we're doing <laughs> donuts in a parking lot, and it was lowered, and it got a hole in the gas tank. I had to get a used gas tank put in there. Ninety nineteen RA one four six four five Vandal Street. Apartment one oh one. Thirty nine over there. Yep. Yeah. RTC unit four fifteen Rand thirteen hundred North Vermont Avenue. Coil overs. Exhaust. Five jackets. 
Actually, actually, the first fucking first week I drove it, I started rolling back down this fucking exact hill right here, dude. First, like the first week I had, I remember the first week it went up, like, dude, we're going to Hollywood. And I drove up this hill, and it was like, dude, I barely had been driving stick shit for like three days, and I remember just putting on the emergency brake and like, oh, god damn, dude, we're, st we're stuck in traffic right there, going up that steep hill and it rolling back, and like me just like over revving it, you know, and putting the handbrake on. Southeast Unit 507 Radio 1780 East 112th Street, Incident 0330, RD 1837. It was a fun car. It was fun to drive. 18 3 Roger. Incident 4903. 84 Maxima. Hey, those are pretty dope, those boxy Maximas. Those got to be worth some money these days. They were like top of the line for the pieces of shit that were out there back like in the 80s. Like those little compact cars. Even like the Hondas, you know, like the Civic and the Ford. It was like Toyota. They were just all basic ass vehicles. But the Mac Maxima had that plush interior. I think it used to have like all these switches, like weren't they like stainless steel switches in there? Yeah, I remember uh, my friend's like uncle had a Maxima. They were like popular to have those lowered Maximas. They had mini trucks, Regals, and Maximas. I remember. They had that plush ass Six, interior. Seven, if you have a better location. 16X41, Code 6, Bud Hill and Aravista. Roger. And yeah, actually, the Maxim has always been a, a nice car. Even like every year, even the 91, I almost bought one of those. Remember like, I think it was like a 90, 91 Maxima. I almost bought one from some dude in the Palisades. He was selling it. It was, I can't remember if it was five speed or six speed. It was like a sporty version. It was like the top of the line. It was fucking pretty nice. The, the gauges were white. I think it was white with like black leather interior. But I remember I was just like, ah, for the money. Actually, I didn't. I drove it and everything. I was going to buy it. And then my friend talked me out of it because I really wanted a Nova. And then we went to go see this Nova, like this, I think it was like a 1963 Chevy Nova. But my friend that knew about cars, like when we went to go see it, it was like all fucked up. Like it was, the body was fine, but it like it, it needed a lot of shit. He just went through the list of all the stuff, and it was like, he, he talked to me. He was like, bro, I don't recommend it because it needs all this mechanical shit, the suspension, everything, the bushings, like the steering's not good. It was it was just a regular one. He was like, to be honest, he's like, bro, you should just wait and get like a super sport one if you're gonna put money into it. Cause it was just like a basic ass Nova. Okay.
sheriff's out here for? A little party out here? 21181 defense. The unit's 291 responding code 3 from Rampart Station to 928 South Alabama Street. Look at this. 1300 North Avenue at Hollywood Press. Incident with my 4 RT 1162. I think they're literally just hanging out. They're probably going to go Alright, well, this Everyone, is a this has been a weird fucking night, bro. I can't remember the last time it's been a night with nothing. Did I miss any shell and shot simple? Thank you very much for those uh, super chats. Flooding. It's oh, weird because there's not even it. any accidents. And usually, even on slow nights, there'll be at least like something, bro. Maybe an outdoor fire, one expanded traffic collision somewhere. I need to see that. I love CB three five four one five nine five. Go to support zero eight You know which ones are dope? Those compact like Toyota RVs that they have in Japan. There's dudes that import them. I think they're right-hand drive. They make like a... It's like a real compact RV. That has everything in it. It has like a shower, a kitchen. Like a little table, a living room. A bunch of like fold-out beds. I think it has like three beds in there. Like they're not even I'm that big. Also, I like those Toyota Previa vans. Remember the Previa, the big egg? The spaceship eggs. I think it'd be cool to have one of those. Lower it. Actually, if you see, so look some up. There's some people that lower it and they put like a body kit on it. It's actually pretty cool. Twenty-seven, seven. Twenty-eight, twenty-seven, seven. 
Shooting 640 South Main Street, 640 South Main Street on the 12th floor. Male and female heard fighting, then a shot was heard. Go to the 4 Is that the Cecil Hotel? 6 15, 30 minutes for tell. 647 South Main Street, sounds like the Cecil. 6 4. Yep, sure is. Hey, yeah, because the Cecil Hotel is. Uh, is it? This is where that girl got shot with the BB gun the other day. On 18th and Fairfax. I think that's it. It looks different in the daytime. Yeah, that's it. The Cecil is now being used as a... Uh, you guys want to go over there? 27 T31, Roger. Take us a minute to get over there. And it's on the sixth floor. So at best, we'll see them pulling out people out to an ambulance. 373... Four, five, five, seven. Yeah, Cecil Hotel is now being used as a uh, homeless transitional housing place, or what are they called? The SROs, I believe, Sing single resident occupancy. People still think it's a hotel. I guess when, when that Netflix documentary came out, it was still like a hotel. And I think they were fixing it up and they were supposed to open during COVID. And I believe COVID like slowed down their remodel and their opening and then it kind of like killed it. And then the city came in and gave them an offer, I guess, the owners to turn it into housing. All right, we'll go downtown. It's been so fucking slow tonight. Absolutely nothing today, dude. This guy right here that climbed this tower. Dude, that's like the... F that's right when YouTube started changing their algorithm. And they started promoting the live streams. Like, it was around that time. Because I remember, like... That was the first time that I in a long time that it broke like a thousand viewers that it was like, I don't know, maybe it was like 1300 viewers. Because most of the time, dude, most of the for a long time we'd get like a couple hundred viewers, maybe 200. It started from the bottom, but at a certain point it was like, oh shit, we're getting 200, 300 viewers is a lot, you know? Like, Then you you could tell the YouTube started uh, recommending the channels and all the streamer live streams, and I could just tell the jump in viewership. And then that, but I remember they took it down though because he climbed it. And they thought it was the S word, a possible S word situation. And then YouTube took down my fucking video. Bro. 
And I remember I was mad because I was like, bro, there was like 1,300 people watching live, which is like the most ever. that time for something simple like that and then uh it was such a big news story i knew it was gonna get like a hundred thousand views you know on the replay and i went home i started editing the footage put up a shorter version then they gave me the message they took it down Possibly in unit 1401. Now they're on the 14th. 2035 PR believes it is in on the 14th floor, apartment 1401. I don't know, this could be a fake call. Sometimes there's a lot of fake calls in those uh, housing places. On drugs and schizophrenic. I think it started during the daytime. I remember driving over here and it was still daytime. And it was just like, you know, obviously all the news was there. They started reporting. They, that's KTLA 5's tower right there. And he just climbed up there and he just, eventually they talked him down and he came down. I forgot what other statement he was making. He was making a couple statements. Something weird about Billie Eilish. Though. Free Billie Eilish, maybe? a huge story bro really. that one for sure because it involved like involved the new station Billy Eilish it was on every fucking station it was a national story it was it was everywhere it was on Yahoo I think it was even international Roger. Hey, holding a time to put some calls. It's for correction. Ambulance over to 640 South Main Street. Code 2 is 9452 or D154. Then 10493 in Charleston, Ralph. Thank you, Roger. 604 South Main Street. Thank you, Roger. So now it's an overdose? Can you show me a route to MVP one? Did you say 604 or 644? 604? Because we're going to 647 South Main Street. Oh, maybe it's just separate. Hey, North Hollywood unit, time to narcotic suspect 6940 Fulton Avenue, incident 364, already 1521. Trespass suspect 5300 Lakers Boulevard, incident 437, RD 1548. 
Additional code 27503 or D1483. DW suspect three three four South Main Street code two is stand four eighty eight or D one thirty five also holding a time down on code of call follow seven party seven seven zero South Grand Avenue seven three six one in the room it is two four nineteen eighty six street incident four eight zero nine. Alright, we're six hundred feet away. Hey Delta Tina, correction. So the things are information on a code that are ringer is false. One zero seven one West Martin Luther King at McDonald's. Information only at five zero six three seventy nine. Now black to two years old wearing white and brown stripes, shirt, brown pants. Main surfers from PTSD threatening to harm himself. Had that to the knife. Not armed. Code two incident five zero five RD one two four one. This is called Gallery Row. Are there art galleries around? Here it is. It's your turn, Robin. Right. I need to supervise the tourist on West Hallway 51. Hospital is open and vault 6530 West Boulevard. Identify. Okay. Twelve thirty red. Ninety-five with those. We don't have to hurry here at approximately zero thirty hours. Four one. Does this do sagging too? I think. Father. A little bit. That one night. And he got saved. The tow truck driver saved him from a DUI. Because I could. The, the cops took a long ass time for them to come. They took a while and then. The tow truck drivers get here within like fucking five minutes. Two sixty nine Roger, the PR speaks the party is still going on and she is requesting to meet with officers upon arrival. Stringers? Look like stringers. They're wrong. Damn all the stringers are here, bro. What's up, Holmes? Where's the dead body? 
south of Vernon. Stairs. And vehicle is a white pickup truck with furniture in the back bed. Information on this at 510. Still running now. Okay. Shit, everybody's out here. It's a slow night. You know it's a <laughs> slow ass night if everybody's at the same fucking call. 373 requesting additional unit three girls south of Vernon and 0511. Is it literally like the you, I'll send a the only call, the only the call that would be like them. possibly be newsworthy of the whole night in all of LA, pretty much. I'll turn for you and put right now, okay? All units code 4 on 928 South Albany Street. No, no evidence. That's no evidence of trouble. See a man about a horse. It's still for sale. Fourteen twenty. And clear. Everybody else Go toward the Cecil. What's up, bro? Would they say 14th floor? Yeah. 
They changed it to the 14. Like the first and first call is at 12th floor, and then they're yeah, like, yeah. actually, it might be 14th floor. So it's probably a crazy lady. There's a lot of crazy yeah, people living up there. Are you live or no? No, not. Oh, you're not live. Yeah, I got plenty of time out. Why? People are pussies. But on Ooh. Instagram, you're still. Yeah, I'm fine on Instagram. So like on, on like TikTok, like there's like some or some shit like that. Like, like, on where? On Instagram. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this is too sensitive. TikTok is real strict, huh? Very strict. It's so annoying. Because of the comments they suspended you or something? Or? No, I just saw them reporting the live. Oh, because of what they see? I was literally standing here and it had been like 10 minutes and someone reported me for dangerous hacks. So really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, tonight? Go, right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, no, that's stupid. When you go live, on TikTok send everybody to first48.org. <laughs> everything. I guess Duran got a timeout from TikTok. Well, this is the Cecil, 14 floors. Is this even 14 floors? So it'll be one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteenth is the top floor. Fire department's on standby over here. Is that them pulling up? Uh, I think they're leaving. That means there's nothing here. Oh, they're gone. There you go. No evidence of a shooting. All right, let's get out of here. Your PR is a male block, block red box, 20 years old, with a purple hooded sweater, blue jeans, white tennis shoes. He's hiding in the laundry room. Suspects are outside of the laundry room. Additional sign 513. City ring R13438, Dollar Drive at the residence. Incident 507 and R8085. Goodbye, Cecil Hotel. We'll be here again, dude. There's always calls here. I think the water tank is out in the back over there on the side. This is the legendary Cecil Hotel, dude. Richard Ramirez, I don't know what room he stayed in, but he stayed here. Remember Netflix, that, and the little documentary on the Cecil Hotel made, made this shit real popular. Zero two zero seven. Dude, during the lockdowns, when when this shit was under construction, there was so many fucking rats. That's probably where I seen the most rats anywhere in L.A. There's like these grates right there. What is that, dude? What kind of bird was that? Hold up. There's like some grates. Some grates where they live. There that there were, just, dude, there must have been thousands upon thousands of rats, and they would go underneath there and then come out on the other side through one of these little holes. There's probably some right now too. That's probably what that fucking bird is going after. Now accepting Section 8 vouchers. Oh, he got one, dude. I told you. He got one. Ugh. Got him. Streets is ruthless out here, bro. Streets is a motherfucker. Uh oh, dude, we got music playing.
Oh, there goes another one. Down there, look. Dude, that dude flew off with one. There he goes. I told you there's a shitload of rats here. Damn, he's fast. I'm telling you, this is where I've seen the most fucking rats anywhere in LA. Easy pickings for that bird, dude. You ever seen a rat fly? Sorry, I had to mute it because this dude came by fucking singing, I don't know, what was that, Aerosmith? Scream down, scream for the, yeah. I don't know what that was, Aerosmith, I think. Video copyright claimed. Oh no, here he comes back playing Return of the Return of the Mac. No evidence. No evidence of a shooting. I told you, man. Where is the gas station? Twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. years. Twenty years. Six mile range. So basically, there's some grates there. I don't know what's the boiler room or something, some vents. That's why I've never seen that many rats anywhere. Coming in and out of there. Giant rats, too. That bird, he knew that was easy picking. That was easy work for him, bro. He probably goes there every night and flies away with him. Whenever he's hungry. Incident 0370. But either way, we don't see any damage. Ghetto bird right there, dude. Eating rats. On, so cats eat birds and birds eat rats. Right? Cats eat birds. Cats eat birds and birds eat rats. Rats. Do birds eat cats? Hey, 
How does that food chain work? Or? Yeah, I'm going to continue to question an additional unit. Something's not making sense there. You know, we're not saying team 11, he's in team now. Oh my god, dude. Where's that gas station? 555, code 6167, more stripe. Where's the gas station, dude? On Alameda? We're gonna have to fill up. Dude, I'm putting like one and a half gallons in, dude. It's just like $8 a gallon here. 2017, I came this way though, cause I'm like, dude, if I run out of, there's a gas stations like there downtown, but I'm like, dude, if I run out of gas at fucking Skid Row, like, I'm like, hell no, bro, I'd rather run out of gas over here. I'm trying to fucking run out of gas over there. Project per A seventy three to twelve. Project shows the pair requested PD and FD at the location. One shots are going to be disconnected and rising roommate had a gun. <laughs> Company 7527 Put a unit identify. Let's see how big the fucking rip off is going to be here. 27. 27. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69. $7.69.
and I guess they didn't want to answer questions or anything. And then they lowered the prices. Like right after they did that, they got exposed. The prices dropped by like a dollar for like uh, maybe. I think it lasted like a couple weeks, like two, three weeks, and then once all the bad like publicity went away, it was right back to where they were. Yeah, but it doesn't really make sense, bro. Like, this is right in downtown, right off the freeway. I'm telling you, there's a gas station in Malibu, PCH Point Dune. I think it used to be an Arco. Dude, that one, the gas station, that's like in the middle of nowhere in PCH. They, there's literally like no gas stations. Maybe there's two gas stations. And there's like 10 miles of road in between from there. You know, where those two gas stations are within like five miles of each other. And then from there, it's like 10 miles to any gas station from each of those. And that one is like, color. say this one right now is seven whatever it was, seven sixty nine. That one in Malibu, in the middle of nowhere, where they can definitely gouge people. That one would be like five right now. How much are the average prices right now? Like five. It's gone up. It's like five dollars, five twenty or something. In Malibu, that one right now would be like four ninety nine. I wonder if it's because so many people that come down here in downtown are from downtown. Like most of the people that come down here, they're like tourists, either go to Vera Street. Or they're conducting some type of business in these buildings, you know. There's enough people that are just, uh, they need gas, they'll just pay for it, bro. And then I guess during traffic hours, it would be pretty hard to get to another gas station. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Anyhow, bringing a 242 to Monster Valley, Big 03 with Vehicles Highway from the restaurant to the big dump. Wearing black clothing, white socks, no shoes, just good. 2 and 536 and RT503. Okay, Monster Valley, Big 03. This is a street light or is it a tri light? I think it's probably because of. During the day, like business hours, the traffic is so bad down here. Yeah, people are going to the courthouses, to the Hall of Records, all these official buildings. That when they get here and they need gas, they're just like, okay, they get here and then during rush hours, it probably is like 15 minutes, 20 minutes to the next gas station. So, most people look at it and they're like, fuck it, I need gas, I need gas, I need to put it. So it should be open and you should be able to gain access. Gas is going up a lot, huh? 851, 11, in. Well, here it's more expensive because we have a... I forgot how much of it is taxed. Stand by. I can't remember if it's like 79 cents a gallon. So that actually seems low. Or if it's like a dollar twenty-nine a gallon here. Just in taxes. California taxes. 
See, look, I could have came right here, 485. Did you guys see the rescue the other night? Did anybody miss the rescue? Type 1 if you missed the rescue of the lady trapped in her car. 11851, If you missed it, go to the last live stream and just go to the end. It was the last call of the night. Just rewind probably like 10, 15 minutes. She crashed right here. Go to the last live from uh, two days ago. Friday night. And uh, it was a pretty intense rescue. She was on this street or was Central and Alameda? I believe it was on Alameda by the Yoshinoya, she crashed next to the old American Apparel building into like the dock. There's like a little dock where like you can, uh, like a truck can back up to and unload. And I don't know what she did. I think she ran from the other street across the way and just, I don't know what, she, what happened to her, but it looked like she went straight into it and crashed and got wrecked and she was trapped in there screaming and they had to use the jaws of life. It was pretty intense. But she looked pretty good, dude. Like, I don't know if she had, might have something broken in her legs, but she was pinned in there, but from her waist up, she looked like she had no injuries. It was right here. Scott was saying that he thought that she came from across the way. That's the only way you could pick up that much speed from this little street right here to the left of the street. Dude, I don't know if she fell asleep. She had some type of medical thing. I don't know. And there's this street right here to the left. Right here, she went straight. I think that's the only way you could pick up that much speed, you know? Like, maybe coming down this little street over here. There's just no way she could pick up that much speed and cause that much damage coming this way, you know? And she went through that gate. See where they kind of taped it up. She went right through that gate and then crashed right there into that orange like dock right there. Right into it. I think she, in a Lexus SUV. And she got pinned underneath the fucking steering wheel bag. I'm not gonna lie, when I was there, bro, I was like, oh, dude, I'm gonna pull her out. I hope it's nothing like. Nothing gruesome, because honestly, I can't even really show that, bro. I think, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the terms of service is no blood, you know. She looked good though for the situation she was in.
Young 639 6525. Okay. 959 vehicle and go off the hit and run. There was one last night too. 375 and 360 area to follow. 697 South Woodburn, apartment 512. the records unavailable due to a possible correction process. On Instagram, I've been getting recommended these like uh, t shirt suppliers down here. There's actually one place up, up the street that makes makes like custom, I guess, custom merch. They'll make you anything in low quantities. Like, they'll make you pants, I think. Like, you can pick the material. Like, say you wanted to make your own like pants, shirts. I think they'll make you anything. It's a little expensive, but it's affordable. If you wanted to make merch, like they'll do anything. Like they'll cut out tackle twill stuff for you, sewing stuff. I forgot what it was called, dude. I think it's over here to the left. Hey, North East, you know, better listen to us right there now, 5241 Franklin Avenue. Swiss Rig, male Hispanic, gray beanie, gray tank top, dark pants, spray painting a wall near the location. Code 2 and 10, 547, RD 753. Calling in, I'm just going to listen to a broadcast message from 514 Court, subject Jaime Roberto Vinega, male Hispanic. Considering your male, male Hispanic, round, round, 53130, medium complexion. Date of birth 628, 2010, 13 years. Last stream 419, 2024 at 1800 hours. Wearing a black t shirt, base, base pants, black shoes, metal condition is fair. Subject suffers from schizophrenia. Any information, contact, call the division at 9611. 
not sure what it's called, man. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what corner it's on. I think it's on Los Angeles or something. They make like small batch custom orders. But I remember seeing some videos and they make like whatever, bro. Whatever you want. You want to get your uh, logo cut out of leather. Like the technology is there now. Where I don't think it's like super cheap, but it's affordable. You know? Obviously, the more you make, the cheaper it is. But it's affordable to like make a prototype of something, you know, something that you uh, plan on mass producing. I'll drive by right now see if I see it, if I remember. I think it was on Los Angeles. And I mean, there's a couple places out here that do that. This is the one that I've been hearing about. The Pico in Los Angeles? This is where you can get all your blanks. Hey, Southwest Daily 415, Group 3740, Chris Shop, over to the Denny's. To the security guard standing by with the waitress, suspect or customers inside of the business. One female black and three male, correction, two male blacks. Threatening employees, it's code 2 and 752 on 8373. Another YouTuber posted their site. You can hire them to follow you around and act like paparazzi and take pictures of you. That sounds like a service Jeremy would use. 17 George 71 watch five still active for any watch. Um, yeah, I know that place. It's called, I think it's called Fame. I remember one, one time they were doing it out on Sunset Boulevard. Front of that saddle ranch place. Is it right? Cowboy Customs? It's somewhere around here. High end quality blanks and screen printing. I thought it was right here, but this is not look familiar. Yeah, they were on Sunset, and they were doing it to some girl. Okay. Remember, remember, what was her name, dude? I think her name was Olivia or some shit. And I remember I was like, oh, no, it's Olivia. Oh, my God, it's Olivia. Oh, I thought it was, yeah, I think it might be called something Land. I don't know. It was somewhere around here, dude. I thought it was there. Look it up. And just people want to be famous so bad, bro. By any means. They literally, uh, yeah, those are the people. That... It's like a package. It's, I think it's called Fame. It's like, the dude. there's probably more than just that guy. Severe car crash notification put to incident 558 RD 2103. Severe car crash notification put to incident 558. Severe car crash notification. 11438. It's literally like a package you buy. They get you like fake subscribers. 
they uh, get fake paparazzi to follow you. They have um, part of the video package. They film, and then they put all that shit up on uh, whatever your your YouTube channel, your TikTok. Now it's probably all TikTok. And then um, um, yeah, they buy bots. They use the bots for your channel. And it's just to trick people, bro. You guys probably, you guys probably know someone that does exactly that. You trick people. People think you're popular, bro. That's all that matters. Must be popular, then I better watch. What's your name? Four five nine silent two five three. Correction two. One two five three South Stanley. One two five three South Stanley at the residence. Uh, panic alarm from a keypad. So three. Well, pretty five, much anywhere here, five, dude. Five, you can five, get five, a bunch five, of stuff five, done here. But most of these places are just wholesale T-shirts and other stuff. King of T-shirts. You get ho wholesale blank anything here. Total. from Station to Station, 1253 South Stanley Avenue. Information is 1503. There's fake people in LA. There's a. 1473, 1473, are you clear? There's fake people in LA and OC that want to be on TV. And push the construction workers. Go to one seven five six eight ninety seven twenty one. Well, these people taking shots. Where is this? Because I call. Maybe we can get one call tonight. Progress 8424 Columbus Avenue, 8424 Columbus Avenue, District number one male, Hispanic, wearing orange shirt, white pants, armor with a gun. Number two female, Hispanic, black, sweater with a hood, black pants, armor with a gun, shooting outside. Code 3 incident 569, RD 1983, Michigan, Dan, identify. Shots fired. 8424 Columbus. Are you in SIPA 864? I'm responding to Code 3 from Mission Station at 8424 Columbus Avenue. Any are you to come out of Mitchell Frequency for a shooting in progress, 8424 Columbus? Back in. No wonder it didn't sound familiar. This is deep. 85 Roger. This way in the valley. Keep the fear on the line and then get a bird to switch. 
Or the Van Nuys Airport. Play Boulevard, Pigeon, Tenet, 502, or D439. Pigeon, Pigeon, 46, 7853 code 6, 1253 South Stanley Avenue. 1783, confirm that male of mental. 4877 South Grand Avenue, Senate 361 or D162. Trace Supervisor response, 1783, confirm male of mental, identify. 1760. Roger. Regional PR went into her house, known to her, and said there's people outside shooting. She does not see or hear anyone shooting. Now they're trying to send by six nine. Nothing within a striking distance. Ready, twenty one seven eight two one, cancel the battery suspect, eighty five hundred Beverly Boulevard, cancel by the PR suspect two eight. Pee no longer needed on incident five sixty eight. There's a couple of buildings here that. Six one verifier, our PR doesn't have eyes anymore on suspect. I bet you there's going to be a lot of apartment buildings popping up here, like high rises. They got some of the best views of Oh yeah, they are. Best view of downtown from right here. Yeah, I'm making a sense of time about ADW suspect 331 North Broadway, Coast Hill, San Francisco, 415. Maurice, copy 112, code 6, North Vermont. Suspects. All right, Lola. Lola, la trailera. Oh no, normally I'm like normally I'm like real tired and sleepy. Let me zero five six one. Four. Sleeping. I'm gonna let you retro. Sure. Oh, we just passed the Galen Center. You guys think LeBron's son is LeBron LeBron's son is gonna be any good? I think for sure he's getting drafted. It might be late in the first or second round. Who knows? It might be late in the second round, but someone's going to draft him. Good 
Bryce, yeah, Bryce is there. Cool. Bryce does look like he's better. But who knows? I mean, you never know, dude. He might have a little growth spurt. He might just get really good at something. You know, he might get really good at shooting or something. Yeah, one four zero zero two level He's definitely really athletic. Seventy one incident zero four three three or D four five three. He just wasn't, he's not the size of LeBron. Please Is Tiger Woods son a basketball player? We're holding a landmark tennis dispute 5137 West 49 in RD 1203. I'll put it in your chat. I've never heard of them. It seems like they're just a wave of NBA, former NBA players' sons. Going into the NBA, bro. Everyone, dude. Mello, Kenyon Martin, Scotty Pippen, LeBron. Hello, son. Kenyon Martin, son. Hispanic wearing a black shirt. Hello. Jose Street, Pierce Ears, footsteps on the roof to the residence. Everybody, dude. 2278, Steph Curry, son's already going to. Get drafted. Roger, it was uh, 0572. It was a typo. Disregard. Switch incident 581 RD1722. LAFC pitch? What does pitch mean? It's the stadium. 79 and RD1624. Yeah, LeBron's son had like a heart issue there. But I guess it wasn't like super serious. When it happened, everyone thought, like, well, that's going to be his end of the basketball career. But now nah, he's back. He's playing. He came like limited on his way back. But I guess it wasn't that serious of a heart issue. You're not gonna go and play with the shooters outside. Boulevard yeah, he made a recovery. I mean, they were limiting his minutes, but he's back. He's playing college basketball, and he's going to the draft. That's also why this stock draft is going to go down. There's going to be a lot of... I don't know, but I think like they wouldn't mess around. The doctors wouldn't clear it, the heart thing, especially. Like, I don't know. I guess maybe you could when you're that... Famous and rich, find a doctor that's willing to clear you the heart condition. But I think 99.9% of doctors would be like, hell no, nah, bro. There's a chance of this dude, like a high chance of this dude having a heart problem and dying while playing basketball or practicing. Like, they don't want to be the, the dudes that are responsible for giving them the green light. PR one into apartment number one three three. Eleven eighty nine, eleven eighty nine. Come in. Go. Eleven eighty nine. I have the homeowner for that address at twenty nine twenty eight 
2920 Idale Avenue. He advised that he see that the vehicle is on his property. Property. Did you know the Pierce number and call back? Can you give him a call regarding the damage to his property? Uh, yes, can you uh, advise him that we're attempting to call him? And can we get that number from you? Roger. His first name is Richard. The uh, callback is 602. 810-7904. I'll send it to you and I'll put it in the comments. The funding unit, are you cooked them? Cook them for you cook? Like, that one is over. There's no feeding. I think the Warriors get LeBron. Uh, I think that'd be a really bad move. Unit call for A340 at Nice Boulevard. I mean, the Warriors are done, bro. Adding LeBron in his like, final year. Hello, 89 Roger. I just disconnected with him. That's definitely not. You'd be looking at the like Brooklyn Nets when they had KG, Paul Pierce. Most of they have Joe Johnson. Where it sounds good in theory, dude, but like you're gonna have your whole starting lineup. All your best stars are gonna be like 37 years old. What street? No, at least how old is this? Steph is like 36 now. Draymond, like all the, everyone's gonna be 37. LeBron's what, 40? I don't know. They'd have to get two really good ass young guys to throw in there. I think the Warriors should just break up their team. They're smart. 3131 CPI traffic, 22nd and Western. Could two incident 571 NRD 316. Van Ice Boulevard. 95 and 918 responding. They should talk to uh, Curry and just ask him, like, bro, do you really. Like, you want the respect and you end your We're career here possible. and we give it a go, but it's not like a real. 10 L60, Roger. Realistic chance of. And 9041, Roger. Putting a great team together, or you want to get traded, but you actually have a chance. Thank you. Northwest 27th Street and 7430 and 314, 415 Woman, 3118 West Vernon Avenue, and 512 and 392, possible trespass suspect 4313 Van Buren Place, and 574 and 397. Near alley, suspect is a male, unknown, black hooded pleasure, my color jeans, carrying tools. What is the comments? Close to incident 589 or the 466? Roger. Commander. For unit of Illinois Angel, timed out, elderly, abuse investigation, group 2 and RD 257 identify. Street. 
Curry doesn't have any kids? Didn't he just have a kid? I was just messing around about the Curry son. But... Actually, he has kids, doesn't he? He has a daughter. He has a daughter. I'm not sure. I think he had kids. Roger. Sentry Nicole Nancy Paul, the correction of Hustle 459 suspect. 640 South Main Street at the Cecil Hotel, code 2, incident 164 in RD. Correction, incident 579 RD 164, holding a terminal 5730 770 South Grand, incident 361. Incident 4 Unicorn 4459, suspect on railroad 12, 5th Street, apartment number 774, suspect upstairs neighbor, railroad alcohol 20, tampered with the door, possibly trying to get it. Incident 4 Unicorn 4469, suspect still at scene, code 2, incident 591 RD 154. Incident 4 Unicorn 4469, suspect still at scene, code 2, incident 591 RD 154. The LAPD units are not code 6 yet. Again, it was the W suspect. Sheet of PR standing by at 1044 North Soto Street, the mobile gas station. Suspects are formerly Hispanic, attempted to appear inside of her own apartment and harassed her. Vehicle keys. Modern tradition, all code 2 incident 592 AD 449. Yeah, I, think, I think they should definitely break up the, the Warriors, Lakers too. I don't know, the Lakers might have, it seems like they have more uh, cap space next year, so and LeBron's going to be older, pretty much his last, I think it's probably his last year next year, maybe one more after that, maybe. Many uh, good free agents, and no one's gonna trade them anybody good, bro. Really. Uh, they don't have any good assets to trade, anyways. Sean Kemp? Did he? I can't remember. He got into he got into some type of altercation in the. I think it might have been in Seattle. Roger. standing by. Or somehow guns were involved. I don't know if some if he shot at someone trying to rob him or something or. Pulled out guns in a parking lot. Ninety-one, twenty, ninety-one, elder abuse. Twelve thirty, West Sixth Street. Put us in at five sixty two or two pass up. Sixty-one games in baseball. Okay, sixty-three, eighteen, sixty-three. Are you clear? Baseball is actually kind of crazy that they play so often. They're going down a bike path from four nine one one south of Pomona. That was observed going to Aqueduct. The information is zero five nine three and RD fourteen fifty nine. Tacoma, no charges were dropped. 
did he actually shoot a gun or did he just pull it out? I can't remember what happened if there was some type of robbery or if there was road, some type of road rage thing. No. On the call. I kind of remember that maybe he was there to meet up with something and somebody about something and it went bad. They were trying to scam him or something. 1203, 1203, Kansas, and then 05 GP. Hold on, I need it. Baseball's crazy because they just, they're playing three days in a row. Actually, I'm not sure if they do three in a row, but they do like, yeah, one back to back and then they'll take a day off and another. Sometimes they're playing like five, five days a week. I like your Roger. They try to rob them. But randomly, or was there, I thought he knew them somehow, like it was, I don't know if he was going to, was he going to sell a watch to somebody or something? I know he got, the charges got dropped because it was under self-defense. Southwest Division, CTI traffic, 22nd and Western. Code 2 incident, 571 and RD 316. Oh, yeah, they do double headers too. I forgot about that. Dude, I remember as a kid watching like the. Looking forward to those Dodger double headers. Oh, dude. Tomorrow's going to be a double header. Two games in one day. <laughs> I got six hours blocked off. I remember watching a long ass game versus the Astros. And I think at that time, I don't know if it was the longest game of the season or if it was like the, almost one of the longest games ever. I think it went to like the 22nd inning or something. And it was Glenn Davis. Such a long time ago, dude. Right? I think I remember Glenn Davis hitting a home run. I can't remember if he hit a home run to win it. Or if he hit a home run to like extend the innings. Remember Glenn Davis? He was on the Houston Astros. Yeah, Harden played good, man. Old Harden looked like the old Harden. I'm sure the Mavs are going to come back and play harder, but I think just over sevens. The Clippers just have too deep of a team for the Mavs. The Babs almost look like they're just a two-player team. That's it. They got to do everything, and they're not even the two best players aren't even good at defense. They got to sur surround Luka and Kyrie with defensive players. 
They're not even that good defensively, and they don't score for shit. Oh, but Luca always kills the Clippers, bro. If checkpoints are out in all directions, on gauge. Andrew Roger. Close, elevator two to the third and hold. Hold elevator two. Nineteen eighty five. Roger. Due to Wall Street inside the location in the courtyard, this is Kitchen 601 NRD 166. Negative. 1835, 1835, are you clear? It's like Kyrie and Luca. They have to score like 35 points. Game each. 35, Roger. Girlfriend of the one in RD 164. Dude, they were playing like Dante Exum. I didn't even know he was still in the league. Tim Hardaway Jr. He only played like 15 minutes or something. And I don't even know who the rest of their guys are. Max Kleber. No, it's not a word. Navy blue, but now shirt, short pants, the two females, suspect, four male, black, pilot handgun. The code two incident, six zero three, already 191. 43, you can expect 0601. 20, 23, Roger. First time, Roger. 7-9 to do your stack is full. Roger. Alright, man, I think we're gonna call it, man. It's too late. Come on, you can stack engineer 0591. Alright, everyone, thanks for watching, man. Hit the thumbs up if you can. We've been everywhere, we haven't seen it, heard anything tonight. Tuesday, probably. The night bot? Oh, yeah, that's only on 547 fireworks that occurred between the hours of 0100 and 0200 hours uh, in the area of 8641 Glen Oaks Boulevard, causing a lot of disturbance. No suspects are fireworks currently going on at location. Information only incident 0604 at 1676. I need to bring back the night bot. Night bot, stop working. Yeah, okay. Sign up to my other channel right here. I'm putting in the chat. Links in the chat. Make sure to tell me. I think I'm pretty sure that link works, right? What I should have done is cut. I was thinking about turning it off and then just going to my other channel and playing music for a little bit. But I forgot one call came out. It was like a big call. Potential call earlier, so I got caught up going there. Unit, 415 man, 1400 to Belleville Boulevard, code 2, 
like an annoying thing called the night bot. Automatically uh, puts whatever you want to put in there, any links. So it goes into the chat and you can just set it for like every 10 minutes. Or... Just like Instagram links. PayPal links, links to the other channel. You can make it do or say whatever. A lot of people find it really annoying. People complain too, bro. Their messages, but it's not even the nightbot, like. YouTube censors a lot of words, a lot of stuff. People always fucking flip out like, oh man, you're censorship, blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, I... there's nothing that can be done about it, man. This is YouTube. They're censoring all that stuff. Partial temporary play Charles Sam 01 Henry 2. Animation union available for 415 men at 14002 Park Road Boulevard for 16823. Identify. It's just like a lot of words are banned. Sometimes even like insult, like you can't even type idiot. And uh, a lot of derogatory words can't even be put in the chat. And then you have out of 13, give me a call when available. 14, 13, 14, 13, call 91 available. 14, 13, 14, 13. Nah, I think you can do idiot. You can't do it another time. It shows up as a mod. Yeah, it's a it's a mod. Oh, oh, the unit. Oh, 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 in the day sign up to my other channel so I can get motivated to start going places again the rhodium open air market dude I used to come here as a kid with my parents I used to love coming to the rhodium I'm surprised it's still in business man. shout out to rhodium radio But this thing, a lot of uh, big people came out of here. Dude, Mr. Cartoon used to airbrush here back in the days. Um, I think that first the NWA mixtapes came out of here. That was one of the main main uh, spots where um, people used to sell like these mixtapes, bro. Like, Thanks the rap was born here, bro. Yeah, it's an old driving theater. It's a swap meet. There, there was this one. There used to be one on Vermont, too. Um, the, I think it's like, you know, where the 405 and the 110? Vermont. There was another drive, 
uh, drive-in like swap meet there. They torn that one down. This one's still active. It was kind of weird because it was like, you know, it's a swami, mean, it's like lane after lane of vendors. But it's almost like everything that is sold there was just like in. It was just like two rows, I think. Maybe three at the most. And after that, it would just repeat itself over and over again. And I think some of the vendors even had like two posts or three posts in there. Like, like say the dude that sold all socks. They'd have like a post in the beginning and then one in the middle and then one in the back of the swamp game. But they owned them all. So when you'd go to that third one to get a better price and a better deal, it's like, yeah, this one's cheaper over here, but it's going to the same person. It was swampy shit, dude. It was basically all the stuff you can get in downtown there. All those shirts. Three back to, back in those days it was like three three for ten t shirts. Dickies, Ben Davis. All the toys you could get. It's like the same toys everybody had. Swap me toys. Dude, I remember my parents buying me this like video game that was a it was like a little steering wheel game. This shit was so fucking outdated, but to me that was like the best game I ever owned. As a kid, you know, I was like, I wanted to get like an Atari or something back then. Or was it right the first Nintendo? I think it might have been Atari because I was really young. But it was like a like the front end of a car is a little plastic thing like, ten minutes ago, it was like the front end of a, a race car with a steering wheel and they had like a little uh, like drive you put it in drive or park maybe it had a different speed on it like speed one two and three or something but you could turn the steering wheel and it was just like a personal game and it, it would dude it was so basic like when you turn the wheel, like it just, the track moved, you know? Like, it was the most basic shit ever, dude. 16, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, you know, the graphics would move, the track would move. It was like barely Three, above, seven, like, zero, two, barely above Pong graphics, you know? Sure, the graphics were garbage, but it was just like, it was more about having the steering wheel and the little car thing kind of set up. They do, I think uh might be Wednesdays where they have like where the people s they used to call it like the junk days where like people sell all the old shit, but that's like when you find, you can get cool stuff. I don't know, they might have better stuff now, bro. There's probably people selling all the Amazon uh, return pallets. Twenty one money, one user. And I'm sure they have better stuff now. Because Amazon, like, so much of... I forgot. 
the amount of the amount of waste in clothes from Amazon is fucking insane, bro. Like, I rock it. it was so much that they had to uh, burn it or get rid of it. Like, they were like literally burning and throwing it away because it costs so much more money to, re- to pay their employees to like restock. And people were just abusing the shit out of the return policies. I want to say it was like almost 30% of all the clothes sold through Amazon got returned and just thrown away or burnt and destroyed and shit. And then they got caught. Like, uh, and people were like, what the fuck? Like, you guys are just throwing shit away because it costs more to, you know, process it and labor. Like, it's not. ended up starting to donate it and they started some type of program where I think they're selling it like wholesaling it for dirt cheap to vendors. Section eight twenty three requesting mission units handle four fifteen man one four zero zero two. But even to donate it it's like so much, you know what I mean? Because it weighs a ton. RD nineteen zero one and like the only way they make they make such little profit it's like every time it ships it's like the shipping is more than the profit and like you know clothing is specific it's like a medium and it's a whatever no name brand so they gotta bring it back and they gotta relist it make a new one listing and what they got to take the picture of it they got to take a picture of that shirt that's fucking worth seven dollars or whatever twelve dollars on amazon there's just too much labor involved it costs way more money than paying people whatever an hour Cause it's all like different stuff. It's not like, hey, this is a hundred of the same shirts coming back in. It's, it's like no, it's one purple shirt in a medium of and another whatever other pants in a thirty-eight. And they might some of them have holes in them, and some of them are defective. Russia, five four four, nineteen eighty-five. We have them. Look it up. I want to say they were getting rid of it. They were were destroying a lot of it. That might have been just the defective stuff. Well, yeah, to even to transport and donate it, like I'm sure it costs more money to transport and donate it places. And just the cost of liability, whatever. Control, open the liberty too. Was it the Tommy turning dashboard? Hmm, maybe. It was red. I think it was like red or orange. Turning dashboard? I don't know, it might be. Probably we need a position on the UTP that just occurred at Cherokee and Sunset. If you had request PD meet him up the street at his, in front of his apartment at 1417 North Boston Avenue, just run into the 628. I remember there was always, was always the lady that sold like the imperfect stuff. I guess they they buy it like a liquidation thing, and they just have boxes on boxes, like on pallets, and just like anything, toothpaste, deodorant, everything was like a dollar. 
Some of this stuff was like about to expire or it was like crushed packaging you know? or whatever the box would be open and crushed someone returned it but it was like unused you'd have to go through it. I think they, they used to make a pretty decent amount of money though because they'd sell probably thousands of dollars. Have the and you think there's a 39 response to the P1 or P2 level on the south side. Get up and see All right, man. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thank you, Timo. He's running 31. Happy Mondays. It's time to call it a night. For real, we're going off now. Everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, shout out to all the donators today. We got a lot of donations for nothing today. So I don't get it, bro. Nothing happening. I could run into a burning building on a parachute from my airplane, bro. Nothing. I just drive around, nothing's happening. Everyone donates to okay. Unpredictable. Gotcha. I will just lower it up. Hey, thank you, Claire. So, uh, thanks, Kelly Ram, Patrol One, Debbie, Cheatham, Sea Shelly, Texas Shark, Kenneth Colton, Desert Van Life, Donnie F., Kimothy, Sunnyside Shell, and Shot Simple. For the super chat server. We'll see you guys probably uh, Tuesday. Oh, maybe I should do Mondays. But I just don't like nothing happening. <laughs> maybe I'll do it on my other channel because I'll play music. Right? We're playing music. It's more enjoyable to me. But, like we're not going to calls. I'm just listening to the scanner. It's, um, it's literally just me driving around yapping about nothing. Eighty-five volt different area. And listening to the scanner. Like I need to get to some calls in between, dudes. Don't see no So I don't go insane. But subscribe to my other channel. I put it in the chat. If I go out uh, Monday or something. I'm going to start streaming on there too. We'll see if the weather's good. I got a surprise coming up too. Weather's good. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll go to the beach. I could do both. I could just play the scanner. I'll put it in my ear. And then we'll play music. And then if the call comes out. I mean, that's what I used to do. The only reason I don't play music here is because it, the video gets demonetized. Yeah. 
kitchen and her feet. I mean, the monetization is not like a lot, but like. Also, oh, it hurt. Oh, hold on. It hurts the channel, bro, because of copyright claims. That's why this channel grew so much and the other one doesn't. I mean, it does have to do with the content, but it's also like the YouTube doesn't push it because of all the copyright claims. It's not good. Dude, this is the future home of the Clippers. Dude, Dude, imagine we're moving in here with the championship banner this year. That's going to be sick. I'll be crossing this bridge right here. This is the bridge to the future. I'll be parking in this parking lot. Oh, fuck. They close this driveway? Can I even get out here? This is the parking lot I'll be parking. Dude. I'm coming to opening game. I want to go to Tuesday's game, dude, with the fucking tickets. Garage, PR heard her vehicle alarm going off. Not when cheap. she checked in, PR approached to find suspect in the vehicle. It's a male is 30 to 40 years, medium height. Dude, am I getting forced into the parking structure or does this end? Oh, I just want to get out of here, dude. Oh, I didn't even want to come up in here, dude. Oh, look at all these great men. And women, I'm assuming, but mostly men. On the way to work. Look at these guys, dude. Here's our heroes. I wish I could play good music. Here's our heroes. Men at work, dude. Building the future. Look at this guy. Does he even know? Does this guy know he's building a championship fucking stadium? Do these guys know they're coming down to greatness? This one's for you, buds. Stay great. Build greatness. I know you guys are just clocking in at work, but they have no idea the great. The future greatest franchise in sports history. You're building a home. Building a legacy, sir. Yes, you. Your buckets and your hard hats. And your light and your backpack, dude. Clock in, my boy. Hope you get a raise. Look at those guys up there, dude. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys, man. Future Clipper right now. Constant breathing. Constant breathing. all suffering from. These guys are heroes, man. They don't know. One day they'll look. One day they'll look back and they'll know. If they were part of history. It's like building the fucking Colosseum in Greece. They built it with their own two fucking hands, dude. There it is. The Intuit Dome. I'm into it. The planes almost go like directly over it. And I think there's like a little slit in the roof. There's like a little design that's actually see through. Two little. Two little. Should I say it? Should I say it? Two little fuckers, dude, two little Laker fans broke in here. We're disrespecting the place, bro. Remember they got caught on TikTok? They got arrested. <laughs> it was like these two, like, 14-year-old kids in pajamas, bro. Laker pajamas. The enemies came up in here, bro. And they fucking let off like a... F they were shooting... I, don't know, I think it was a basketball court they were shooting at. And then there was, they let off like a fucking uh, fire extinguisher in there, dude. Disrespecting our holy ground, bro. They're lucky they're minors, bro. We'll let it slide because they don't know no better. If they were adults, we would shame them. Shame. Shame, 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 shame. I 
wonder what the outside is going to be looking like. Is it just going to be like white like this or are they going to have a different... I guess that's probably the color, right? I doubt they paint it after they put it on there. We'll see what it looks like in the daytime. Damn, dude. If you... This is like a double-edged sword if you live here. If you own these houses, it's like great. Like your property values have gone the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like 25 years ago, you could probably get a property here for like 200,000, 150,000. You can get one of these houses, bro. These shits are all probably about a million dollars. Right now. Maybe even a little more. But the traffic that comes here, dude, especially when the football games, now you're going to have Hollywood Park, football games, the Forum, and the fucking Clipper Arena. And I know they're gonna try to like stagger shit. So already four fifty-five. But I'm sure that um, certain days there's gonna be no ways around it where there's gonna be multiple things going on. There it is from the backside. There's gonna be like multiple, and the traffic is just gonna be outrageous, bro. I got caught up in it, and just just football game, dude. Just the Chargers game. One, I don't know, was it an hour? It was forever, bro. I literally just stood. It was like 15 minutes, and I traveled like from here to the light. And I tried to turn around. And I did turn around, and it was even worse the other way. So then I turned around again, and I was just like, I think it took me like 45 minutes to get from um, Manchester to Century over here. But like all of this shit, bro, all the way to Crenshaw. Prairie, everything surrounding, bro, just full of people in Charger fucking jerseys waiting for their Ubers. They have all these, like, police, uh, traffic police, motorcycles, like, trying to route people. I don't know how many people fit in that stadium, dude. But imagine they all come out and, like, fucking 20,000 people want Ubers. They're waiting for Ubers. Honestly, when I seen that, when I got caught up in that, I was like, dude, this is fucking... If I lived here, I'd be fucking, like, pissed, bro. Like, you have to change your life around on Sundays during football games? You came and broken, confirm you're in route. It's like, dude, you need to get yourself an electric bike or plan your day around it, bro. It's actually kind of fucking sick. Like, every street surrounding the stadiums, dude, between Crenshaw, Prairie, the freeway, to the, from the 105 to the 405, like everything, bro, just gridlocked. Cutting call, you were broken. Identify. PDA 85, are they getting rid of the forum? Uh, no. I think Bomber, at first, I think Bomber had to buy the forum. Because the dude that bought the, owned the forum, I think James Dolan owned this property. Right? Where they put the stadium, there should be a church's chicken right here. Rest in peace, church's chicken. So he owned this, I believe he owned this property or part of it, and he also owned the forum. And when they wanted to put the stadium here, I guess the venue, I forgot the real story about the full story, dude. Yeah, where are you still on? He basically made Bomber, I think, buy the forum too because. Basically, they're going to be their competition. You know what I mean? Like, they're building a brand new fucking... The forum is old, but they refurbished it and turned it into a concert venue. So it's like a really good concert venue. But it's not like... The, the Intuit Dome's not going to have shit like that going on. They're probably going to... So they're like going to be competition. 
additional incidents to explore the So I think he made him overpay for the forum if he wanted to do it and do that. Yeah, well, Bomber's like one of the richest people in the world. Microsoft billionaires. I think that was a story that he had to buy the forum in order to get that land so like he wouldn't be competing against him and then he would wash his hands. Oh, that on 104, 104. He'd take his fucking hundreds of millions no, of dollars in profits no, and no, just no, put it somewhere else. is requesting a transit unit to 3901 Lancashire. Victim is still on the platform. Additional to the 645. Two green five alerts are tonight. Good night. Wait the voice now. Go further. Zero three. So I don't know. I don't think the forum's going anywhere. Because it's just for concerts and it's he turned it into the forum was like remember the spark stayed here playing here go ahead. it was yeah, struggling was, for a while I, I think they didn't know they didn't know what they were gonna do with it they're gonna tear it down build the stadium here at first I thought bomber was gonna build a stadium here and he was gonna tear down the forum which would have been fucking crazy dude I was like damn that would have been like one of the most gangster moves ever bro like to tear down like the competing franchise's old legacy building and build your shit on top of them. But I guess after a struggle, they turned it into, they refurbished it so like the acoustics are really good. It's made for concerts and shows, but mostly concerts. And uh, I think it's making bank. I think this thing is booked year round. Big acts. I think this is like one of the biggest places where people come and perform. Also, across here, they have a little the SoFi Stadium. In the back, they have a thing called the YouTube Theater. Dude, do you guys remember back in the day? If anybody watched back in the days when they were building this, I remember I snuck in here. Don't tell nobody. Allegedly. When it was under construction. Was carrying Does anybody bags. remember that? She's on the street level, still holding the knife. Victims of Fino. She's in the, so in the back, they have a thing called the YouTube Theater, which is like a little small. Uh, Concert venue? That's brand new. And that's made for shows and concerts, but it's small. I think it only holds like 2,500 people or something, or uh, maybe more than that, maybe more than that actually. At most, probably 5,500, but it's a smaller venue. Dude, this is where it all happened, dude. James Worthy. It's back when the Lakers were great, dude. Magic Johnson, Byron Scott, James Worthy, Jerry Buss. Chilling at the Forum Club, dude. Just non-stop orgies in the Forum underneath. Back to back. Kareem. Byron Scott. Sadell Three. Anthony, Anthony Peeler. Vlade, huh? Magic Johnson hugging Vlade while he fucking puts his hands behind his back with opens his mouth. Showtime, baby. Young Jack Nicholson out here, dude. Laker girls. Oh, 
Yeah, so I'm not really sure about 15. how the deal was like that, but I think that was it. That the Basically, because Dolan, he owns the Knicks. And yeah, in order, I think, for them to sell him the land, I'm pretty sure he owned all the land where the Clipper Arena is. So he's like, if you want the land, you got to buy this other thing because we're going to be competing against you guys, you know? Basically, I'm going to sell you the land so you can build something that's going to compete against me, you know, like a state of the art shit. So you probably thought like, well, fuck it, he's going to... Like the only way I do is if... I'm pretty sure he just made him overpay. He put a really high asking price. Of course he had to overpay, bro, because where else could you get, even get that land anywhere in LA? They were thinking about putting it at the Carson Arena. Oh, not Arena, the Carson Arena, the, where they keep the Goodyear blimp. And Carson, that's like another big ass piece of land that's still available. Well, that would have been kind of an odd spot. And then I forgot where else there was another. I think they actually thought of putting it somewhere east of downtown, like City of Commerce or somewhere around there. This right here is Market Street, and then this is like going over a makeover right here. I think the owner of the Rams owns all this shit. That's what I heard. That he bought all this out and because all most of this stuff here is empty. It's for lease, but like I think they bought all this shit out, let the leases expire and kick people out, and then they're gonna renovate and then just try to get a bunch of uh, high priced uh, new businesses in here. Cause it's like abandoned, bro. Like all this is for lease, for lease, for lease. And I think they're gonna develop. They already did. Like look right here to the left, cause the train station is right there. But it's like a ghost town, bro. Eight six seven, you were cut out. We need lower level. I think they're. I think they might be planning on tearing down a lot of that shit and building stuff like this to the left, like rebuilding it with the uh, housing above the retail. Because it's weird that it would be that empty. This is like they're down. Old school downtown Inglewood. This is like the thirsty promenade of Inglewood. Could be described as a male black, black glitter and two large bags. That's all I have to say. It's actually very similar to Third Street Promenade. Unit respond. Expression unit code six at three nine zero one Langersham on the ambulance cutting. The suspect is a male black wearing a black sweater with two bags. Stone sold the land to the city with the promise that wouldn't build any competition for the forum. The city then sold it to Paul and Dolan sued and was funding a bunch of fake community groups that opposed the Intuit Dome. So Balmer bought him out. There you go. Mike wearing a black sweatshirt that has two bags. On the location at this time. Hey, Roger. Roger, the green advice is clear to enter the lower level platform. This gentrification, yeah, but this is like almost mm -hmm. like gentrification kind of yeah, happens yeah, slowly. Yeah. Like, you know, like the businesses start changing, people start moving yeah. in, then like one thing gets torn down and like an apartment building goes up or those old apartments go down and then there's some new buildings. But this shit's like almost like a full ghost town. Like everything has gone from here. Supervisor means 7 8 129 North Kings Road. Like I... 
I don't know. It just doesn't make sense, bro. This is... I mean, Inglewood is not like a fucking super wealthy area, but like, it definitely should have businesses here. Like, it always has. Businesses that cater to the community. But look, all these shits are like for lease. A lot of these are old ass businesses and everything's for a lease and closed down. It's kind of weird. This is an old. Like this one. People. This is one of the old Fox theaters. Look to the walk, they watch the video surveillance. This has been closed down forever, though. No black, but they black hoodie that has white lettering on the back of the hoodie. That's actually gonna be sick if they refurbish it. This is old as shit. This bookstore, just the building alone. I think some of these buildings go back to the early 1900s. See, look, available, available. Like, so many of these businesses are just empty for lease. Like, the two gym bags. Just looks like a ghost town, bro. Empty, empty. I don't know what they're trying to do, man. If they're trying to. The old Western store. If they try to run people out so they could tear it down and that failed or something and now they're just trying to get new people in here i don't know actually there's not as many empty stores as there was last time we came but Last time there was a shit. I'm telling you, there was a shitload, bro. Like almost everything was empty. These are. I think these are boarded up. For blankets. This is old school stuff, dude. These are a lot of old school, like mom and pop businesses that have been here for fucking 20, 30 years. Look, release. These are empty, empty. It's like an old school Main Street USA here, dude. Top diversified fashions designed by Bass. For lease. Lord Boy 109. Lord Boy 109. But are they for lease? Because, like, why wouldn't they be leased out? Look, this. Empty. This looks empty. For lease. That looks empty. The corner. Dr. Campbell's Dentals for lease. That's for lease over there. Space for lease. Beyond Envy Apparel, coming soon, something, that's cool as shit right there, that would be a cool ass, I don't know, anything really, it was a one hour photo, dude that had to be built like in 1915 or something, it was a one hour photo back in the day, to PV Holding Corp. So I think that's what they're planning is, it? I'm not sure what this is, but I, it's probably housing. Actually, it doesn't look like housing, I don't know. It could just be a commercial building. Even uh, Scientology is here, though. Kingi's Kaju Kembo, Kempo, Judo, and Boxing. So it just doesn't seem like it's a it naturally got like everyone left naturally. It feels like everyone got forced out. Like that's empty. That's empty. I mean, why would you have them empty for so long? Like, all right, even if. There's a certain price that anybody would pay, bro. Like, Everyone, European answer question with supervisor. Was the Church of Scientology right here? Right? If they've been empty for years, a lot of these have been empty for years. It's like, Roger. Wouldn't you just uh, no, rent them for a lot cheaper to have businesses in there instead of it just being empty? Five, six, two, twenty-two. Landliner, have the number when you're ready. 
It's just a callback to a possible weakness. So, yeah, I think and there's no extra. you're right about the redevelopment plan, but I don't know. It's been, it's been a ghost town for a long time. Because then that, 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 that hurts the, the businesses that are still there. Because the, 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 the foot traffic is like nothing, bro. It's non existent now. Ringer. One 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 East First Street, the all south for floor hallway. Go to incident six six two already. When I heard that it was owned by the same owner of the Rams, which makes sense. Cause the Rams, so far. Do the Rams play? Yeah, the Rams play something down the street. So he probably wanted to invest in Englewood. Roger. Code 12 and Code 12, 111 East First Street. I'm sure they have plans to de redevelop, like, because that train station is over there. And for some reason, everywhere they built a train station, all over LA, I think it's just part of the um, planning commission, at least in LA, this is in Englewood. But they're probably just copying them. In LA, anywhere where there's a new train station stop or where the train stations uh, major train stations off the main lines like it's almost like the whatever the permitting agency whatever the development right people in charge of permitting and zoning they like only allow people to build shit like that around it like these huge fucking apartment developments I've seen it, PAG, Paul Which call are they on? I have them on the code 30. Inglewood High School's right here to the left. Shout out Paul Pierce. Dude, I remember one time I um, I bought these old ass yearbooks. I got them from this lady that she used to do estate sales, so she had a lot of old stuff. 62 Wall Street. And, uh, you know, I'd buy stuff to resell. And she she had a uh, Englewood High School yearbooks from like 1905. I think one was 1903. It was old as shit. And it was crazy, bro. Like that's why some of those buildings date back to those yearbooks. It was a tiny little yearbook, and it was like all white people, and it was like farms around here. And like you open it up, it's just all white kids. And. Um, I think there was a lot of Jews in there too. Like the last names are Jewish. And uh, yeah, and just the businesses. Like in the back of the yearbook, it would be advertisements for businesses right around here. I'm pretty sure it had the Market Street businesses. And it's just cool to see shit like that. It'll say like whatever, like Inglewood fucking uh, lots. You know what I mean? Like. I think they even had like ranch like back then you, you could buy acres of land you know like there was fields and shit it was still pretty empty so in the back there'd be like buy two acres for fucking twelve hundred dollars or all the businesses do like silversmith John Smith, yeah, Silversmith. Iron worker. Stagecoach repair shop. It was pretty cool to see it, like how different it was, and like just seeing these little. These, it was in black and white. It was a tiny ass little yearbook. Like basically falling apart. Like a 
Clean is 301 is responding to 3 from South West Station to 2647 South Cloverdale Avenue. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the new, like, development plans and all that, dude. It's, I don't know, it's just too many people, too congested, shitty parking. It raises the prices. Because they're saying there's not enough housing and that's why the prices are high. So if they build more housing... The prices would low because right. there'd be more fucking units available, right? The purple has the street. But it doesn't work that way, bro. Like they build these brand new buildings and the prices are really high, right? Like they build a brand new building, it has gyms, all these amenities in it. Whatever, everything's brand new, state of the art, it's allegedly secure. Blah blah blah, right? Modern. So they charge what like 40, 50 percent higher than what the other rents are in the area, and then all it does is just raise the rents in the fucking area, bro. Because the landlords are like, "Well, dude, I live right next. My apartment is right down the street. I'm like half a block away. People are willing to pay four thousand dollars for a two bedroom there. So if they're getting." Whatever, eighteen hundred bucks for their old apartment for a two bedroom. Like, I'm gonna start asking like twenty nine hundred. Number two, no further description. Suspect no longer at the location. So two and seven six seven five like. And then it just seems like more people just come from other. They come from other states to fill those in. The parents lived alone and heard male voice coming from the bedroom. Additional incident six six eight. Three one, two, three, eight, and a half, South Conference. Incident number six, question number six, seven, three. You have North Hollywood respond to that location. Oh, no, I guess. They'd have to build so many apartments all at once where there's just like so many empty units that it lowers the pricing. But it's like the building can't keep up with the demand, so it doesn't really help. If they just decided to, I don't know, build like 50,000 units at once, then maybe that's kind of how like Long Beach is. They built all that development in Long Beach, and a lot of that stuff is empty. So the prices are still a little cheaper over there. Not that cheap. Sixty thousand Californians moved to Vegas. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, shit is just expensive as hell. I mean, most people that are leaving is just because they just got priced out. They got so priced out that they're like, they gotta leave. Eighty-five is coast to coast island and Ventura requesting a background supervisor. Prior that the entrance to 200 North Spring Street will be a main, main street side. Alright, man. The amount of people inside banging heard possibly trying to tear down the wall to go into the Wells Fargo Bank. What? Code 2 incident 685 RD 469. Did I just hear that correctly? Turn you to see what we're FBD 31 watch to Roger. I don't think they do it. I'm going to tear down the watch to go in. I don't think they'd be doing that at 530. Current amount of people inside banging heard possibly trying to tear down the wall to go into the Wells Fargo Bank. Code 2 incident 685 RD 469. The entrance to 200 North Spring Street will be a main 
Can you please cut it? How's it on the right mystery? Current amount of people inside banging heard, possibly trying to tear down the wall to go into the Wells Fargo Bank. Code 2 incident 685RD469. Is it Wells Fargo in downtown? I don't think so. Yeah, you see FBE, anyone watch to Roger. I don't think they do it at this time, 530. There's already FBE. too many people out. Temple Street at Department of Veteran Affairs, LHTT Building, Incident 683127. Is it 333 South Grand? Oh, final week. Switch up to downtown. There's a couple of them in downtown. One, two, three, four, five. Katrina is holding a time to close the bus, hold on to the grid, 0118, code 2, and send to 0391, anyone? Anyone? Right. Oh shit, where's my thing? Alright, man. The USS Bunny at a 449 hot prowl. Here is possible mail of Mr. Burles. Earlier said there was someone in the kitchen while he was on the phone with me. Could not give a description. Hearing voices from all the rooms. Is that the same guy? Oh, 100 East 31st Street. The same guy from the bank hall? Code 4, Vineland and Ventura, suspect in custody. Alright, man. All right, we'll see you guys next time, dude. I'll let you, if I hear that it's an actual bank robbery, I'll, I'll go back live. Maybe it's back in. It's in downtown, anyways. I'm not buying it. Breaking in. I'm not buying it. I'll, I'll keep uh, the scanner on if I feel like uh, it's a real. If it's a real call, there's gonna be a shitload of fucking scanner activities. Nine eight nineteen. Nine eight nineteen. All right, man. I'll see you guys. Handle the forty-four. Thanks for watching. Suspect there now. Happy Monday.